We are live now, and we will be starting with the most thrilling of possible quests that you could play in this game. Of course. Of course, now all of the videos that show up on YouTube are the ones from months ago instead of the one from 10 years ago. Are you looking for the fucking skibbity toilet shit? Yes. Uh... Why? Because I can. Why? Because you have nothing better to do. Put the fucking quest up. <laughs> there you go. I'm not watching that. No, I said there oh, you go. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean the hunt. Yeah, I was stabbed <laughs> out. <laughs> I thought you were like, there you go, like, oh yeah, man, here's the fucking oh, skibbity oh. toilet for you. It's like, yeah, no, I'm good. Oh, oh, I, I see. You were uh, tapped out waiting for the video. I was tapped out waiting for you to put the fucking quest up. Womp, we might want hot drinks. The goldfish spots in the, uh, cave. Yeah. Actually, I'm also gonna want to do some mining. I'm gonna take two hot drinks. Is like a bit of a waste. I got the money to burn, thank of, god. Instead of the market. I think they're half off here too, but I could be wrong. Oh yeah, we gotta open Twitch. Oh, they gave hot drinks here. Well, fuck. I regret nothing. Yeah, I think the goldfish spot was in area 11. I'm going to run and grab the mining spots. Uh, I think it's 7. It might have been 7. If you uh, throw... 11 is... 11 is the place where you can get bugs as well. I could have swore there was a fishing spot in there as well. No, no. There's like mushrooms and stuff. Hmm. But seven's the one with the uh, red rock. The fuck was that sound? What? Some random beeping I just heard. Oh, you heard that? Oh, that was you. Okay. I'm sitting here like, did I fucking yeah. like what happened just now? No, uh, that <laughs> that was my washing machine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like for clothes. Yeah, yeah. I got really fucking confused. <laughs> like, it came, like, exclusively out of, the, like, the left speaker of my headphones. So I was like, like, is my fucking space here malfunctioning? Did I leave the air fryer on? What the fuck happened? Got some Dragonite already. Hell yeah. Dude, you're not gonna believe this? I just picked up a stone. Crazy. Hell yeah. I'm very happy about those and whetstones becoming uh, pickups from stone piles instead of mining later on. Much less clutter in the... Uh, Inventory pool. So yeah, I'm going mining. I'm not exactly looking for stones. Nice. Got two hits. Tons of cats just everywhere. And Michaelites. More iron. More iron. 
I'm assuming now that we're in high rank, Mac Light will be a bit more used. And this stone. Oh yeah, it's not okay. this spot. This one doesn't have the uh, fish. Yeah, I told you. Also, I already <laughs> broke two pickaxes, so that's nice. Nice. Megas or normals? Uh, normals. Mm. I only ever bring normals. I bought a couple stacks of megas in the uh, village yesterday yeah, before playing. Were they available then? Yeah, you just buy them from uh, uh, oh, yeah, the merchant. The yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not deep pockets enough. It's funny because really if like I sold them. like all of my excess parts, I have practically a stack of Rathian uh, scales I could sell. I I killed so many things trying to get those crowns, dude. You have no idea. I mean, you do have an idea. You saw my reference thing on stream, but... <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh. Great. Uh, union. Oh, you That's got something. union ore? Nice. Uh, this stone go away. Dude, best boy, fuck off. I swear to God. Enter crystal. Oh my Leave god. Alone, best points. Oh my god. I just uh, want to mine in peace. What the hell? I can eat these. Alright. Nothing more. Got them there with the uh, fuck? Underset. These things must be like immune to dragon damage because I just hit them a shit ton and they didn't die. What things? The Vespoids. Ah, oh, the Vespoids. Yeah, I actually take damage from those. It's not nice. Like... Okay, as much as I like this weapon, if like, th something's resistant to dragon, it basically does no damage. It really sucks. Dragonite, six earth crystals, four stone, maglite, three iron. Not a great haul. It's so fucking dark in here. Are these all goldfish in here? What the hell? No. Uh, Dragonite, I guess. Yeah. Fucking Vespoids trying to fish over here. What the hell? Oh, actually survived. Nice. Uh, what do I trade? What do I get rid of? Get rid of the map. I already did that. I'll get rid of the pickaxe. I already mine every spot is oh, this yeah, not it in high rank like none of these fish are biting there's no way this spot moved right one would hope so but which other place is there in this map I think there's two other ones. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna pull the wiki up and take a quick peek. If my laptop would stop being fucking stupid. Yeah, nothing's safe taking the bait. Swamp area 7 for both low rank and high rank. 
Yeah, should be here though. Hmm. I'm gonna leave the area and come back in to refresh the uh, fish spawn. See if that does anything. I don't even think I see any in here. Because the goldfish are the bigger fish. No, I gotta make room for it. Oops. Hmm. I don't think there's any there. I'm gonna redo it again. One of the most exhilarating quests here on this stream. Here we do the fucking fishing quest first thing. I, I guess I don't need more iron ore. I have like 10 stacks of iron ore, it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, there's a bunch of gastrodome tuna and shit in here now, but no gold fish. Yeah. I did have one. Still tuna in here. Not see any goldfish though. And neither do I. Not a single big fish this time around. Yeah, there's only there's almost exclusively been just a really small fish or tuna. Yeah. I haven't seen any typical sized fish. And if only my brother was here, I'd tell him to do this fucking quest for me. <laughs> You're a jackass, you like fishing. Oh, that's a big fish. You have three tuna in here currently. I got one golden fish. I and know. nothing golden else. Fish. I've always hated these quests. There's nothing good about them. I hate them so much. What, you don't like fishing minigames? No. Tuna, get out of the way. Oh. He's not gonna... He's not here either. either. Like, just swam past it this time around. I wonder if I wait this time again. Ah, uh, doesn't seem like it. And the tune is really in the way. Yeah. Bigger. It bit once and got the, got the bait, most likely. Unfortunate. Looks like I still don't have any in here. Like, I even brought the correct bait this time, and I still can't get any fucking bites. I had more luck last time, when I didn't bring bait. I don't think he's here. Yeah, there's none of them. Doesn't look like I have any either. And hot drink effects ran out. Let's 
be any. I really wonder if that fishing set's really like changing the rates for you because I know it makes it easier to catch them. But I wonder if it makes it so that the fish spawn more often. You've got to be shitting me. There's still no gold fish in here. Also, hi, Bob. Uh, it's not showing up for me either. I've had to do this entire time. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so he'll be streaming all day. No, no. Mr. Peverson is totally going to swap to Undertale. And then I need to go and watch that because I want to see chat freaking out. Like, I'm not so much interested in watching Undertale. I'm interested in watching the chat freak out while he plays Undertale. <laughs> oh, he spawned. Well, lucky you, because it looks like there's still fucking none here for me. You said until Undertale, which is 100% not happening. No, no, I believe in him. He's going to stream Undertale, and I'll be like, nice. Now I can go watch that and watch chat have a stroke. Or, you know, this might become like a month-long stream. Who, who knows? I'm going to do the uh, hip thing of doing sleep streams, except I don't have a camera, so you won't actually know if I'm sleeping or not. I mean, that's just what VTubers do. <laughs> True. <laughs> Zeal subathon time. Yeah, dude, let me just uh, quickly become a partner or something, and I'll just... Ah! Uh, oh, it was too fast. Okay, but he didn't take my bait. I fucking hate the fact that you're sitting here getting all of them on your end, and I'm getting zero. <laughs> uh, I met my last bait, by the way. I still have five, don't worry. I could just give them to you, and I'll just... I'll go look for, like, the fucking gypsers or something that's spawned in the area and fight that. Because, <laughs> holy shit, this sucks. I mean, I can also just make more. I caught the fourth, by the way. Gotta sleep now, enjoy the mons. Alright, man, have a good night. Alright, see ya. Have a nice nap, Bop. Alright. This nice, soothing, and relaxing fishing stream. Oh, there's another. I hate this game. Too quick on the trigger. Most exhilarating way to start a stream, fishing. Oh my god, I actually there think there's go. a goldfish here, holy shit. That's it's crazy. No, 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 I need to get this one. It's a matter of principle. Yeah. Shit. I'll let you deliver it as well. Man versus fish, it must be done. It's pathing is fucked up, it's yeah. just spinning in a Fancier. circle. It actually can't get to the bait because it's Okay. What a game. I keep just assuming it's going to nibble once and immediately be hooked on. I should stop doing that. And then I do it again. <laughs> oh. What's up? There's the Rathian. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm not suited up <laughs> to fight Rathian. Yeah, I know. You'll probably get, like, insta-killed. And she's right at the entrance of the camp. 
so I'm just like kind of walking around waiting for her to try and run me over. She's doing the three fireballs. I got the one fish. I've officially won the game. Hell yeah. Bye, Rathian. Lots of cats here. Yeah, I, I killed mine. On my end. So I don't know why they're still there. They probably respawn. Cats respawning? Yeah. That's unusual. Oh, hey, we're at the end. Oh, there's another fishing spot here. Yeah. This one doesn't have them, though. This is really hard to see here. Oh, I bet. I can, <laughs> it is. Tell. Even I could tell. Yeah, it is dark, though. Not a great spot for cooking meat. Go cook it on the other fire. I also already turned in my goldfish. I mean, go on. I, you can only hold three of these. I didn't see you deliver it. I already did. I did it immediately while you were staring at the fishing spot. Yeah, like for me, you didn't. Oh. Yeah, it probably lagged. Yeah. Yeah, like just now, you went inside the tent and then disappeared. Amazing. What's probably the second worst quest done? Because guess what I saw? I saw there's a fucking Piscine liver quest too in here for ten of them. Hell yeah. Let's go. It's about Piscine to be rough. Quest where monsters have uh, more HP. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be awful. Oh, hey, somebody else is here now. They're in a quest, but there is somebody here. Oh, nice. Maybe I won't be any social today, and maybe I'll actually plug my keyboard into my uh, PS2. I'm jealous you got a Union R. Got on my level. I mean, I didn't get the other one. What other one? Was it uh, Dragonite? I could have swore you said you got Dragonite. Oh yeah, I did. Got one. A yeah, fucking liar, Jesus Christ. I, I think it's Dragonite, but I'm not sure it is. Because it's not Dragonite in Japanese. Right. Yeah, that unlock like just getting Dragonite unlocks like a shit ton of extra armor in here. Like we have all the uh, high rank versions of like the basic sets and stuff unlocked now. Okay, it is Dragonite.
All right, let's see what quest we got next. Oh, hey, Maelstrom. While well, I stood up early, I woke up at 3 a.m., unfortunately. <laughs> so, you know. It is what it is, I guess. <sighs> yeah. Shame about that. I'm sorry for your loss. Quite the contrary. <laughs> we got the Piscine livers. There's also deliver three pieces of quartz and three wyvern eggs. Holy fuck. <laughs> they really were like, yeah, let's give them all like the really shit quests. I gotta change my weapon. I don't think uh, Dragon's good against the Piscine. I almost forgot to change my, uh, my armor. armor. Yeah. I was almost in that belt, fell back asleep. Yeah, I went to bed much earlier than I should have. So I ended up waking up way earlier than I wanted to. I typically like getting up around like 5 to 8 a.m. Preferably slightly later. Right, as far as the start have. goes. Uh, in Cuckoo. Three Gendrome. Capture Yin Cuckoo. Yin Cuckoo. Rathian. Oh, I got the 10 liver. Spicy livers. Yeah, I have that one as well. I'll post uh, it. Herbivore, three herbivore eggs. Uh, and there's an herbivore egg one? Oh my god. And three uh, wyvern eggs. Man, they really were like, just give them all of the fucking delivery quests again, but make it worse. Uh. Pulled an all-nighter for work yesterday, so I was up for 24 hours again. Rip. I did that kind of recently where I did a 24 hours. But it was to help fix my sleep schedule that got ruined. It's mostly okay at the moment. What's up, purple hair? What's up, purple hair? 6969. How was your morning? They didn't give us any fucking rations. Yeah, I noticed that as well. How dare they? Straight to Area 6. Yep. Gotta get that mining. Also, I was pretty sure I didn't put my gourmet steaks away, but apparently I did. Also dead. The white one also wants some. Fine by me. Yeah, I think they become hostile if they see you like hitting the black cats as well. Which is like, why? Just go away. You could have lived. Dragonites. Oh, it's also really annoying when a monster hits the white cats and then they become hostile to you for some reason. Yeah. It's like, dude, what the fuck? Nice crystal. Mmm. I 
I get I, I didn't get any Dragonite or anything special this time. That sucks. Oh, I was laughing. I saw the katana from another stream. Didn't think much of it. You were playing longsword or whatever. Then pop in yesterday and realize it's a great sword. Yep, there are no katanas or uh, long swords in this game. This is just a great sword. And for some reason, well, they, Moral was deeply katanas. Moral was deeply offended <laughs> by the fact that it's not a long sword. But you know, he's just it's fine, he's just wrong. You know, it is what it is. Oh, God, I should have brought fucking Screamers. Uh... Alright, that's one dead. And of oh, course, it's one. doing that thing where we can't... Well, at least I can't see the ones you kill. I also apparently can't fucking hit these. It's so annoying how they pop up out of the ground like a mile away from me and then just jump back in. It's so funny that giant katanas really exist in their own category. I mean, they're basically just great swords, but thinner. They're like, oh, let's make some like other unique designs for the great swords. That'll be cool. Let's just do a giant katana. Or maybe long swords were originally planned. And I didn't have time for it for the first game, because uh, I think that was the case. It probably is. Like okay, well we'll just use the models we already have and make them for great swords. Because in Dose, that's when we got the uh, actual category for the weapon. Yeah, because here you have uh, the two variants of bow guns. You also have the two variants of the sword and shields. As in Sergeant Shield and Dual Blades. So it does feel like they planned to always have two categories. Although, the Dual Blades are a pretty good example of that, considering they weren't part of Monster Hunter 1, but they were part of the English uh, release of Monster Hunter 1. And then we got it for G. Well, Japanese got it for G. Yeah, and then those... Every weapon got a second variant. Mm. No. Yeah, no, that's correct. And then they introduced a bow. That's what I thought. Like the gun lens is also in two, right? Yeah. Introduced um longsword, bow, gun lance, and the hunting horn. So you know, the vast majority of the weapons that we know today. I believe Gen 3 added the, um, Butch Axe. I think it was 3 Ultimate in specific. And I could be wrong, but I think 4 was the Charge Blade and Insect Glaive.
Oh, I guess I forgot to drink my cold drink. Oh, nice. No, no wonder I'm so low. Damn it. Yeah, I just saw you kill it because I... The one that was in the sand over there just despawned for me because you killed that one. Oh, nice. That's so annoying that it works like that. Uh, let me see how many do I have. I, I got have, five. I have two. I mean, it just means you have more fins. I have scales. I have two scales. Up fence. One. These enemies suck. Should have brought screamers. Biggest mistake of my life. I have no idea what that means. As you see, Monty. I have no idea what that means. It's I've mounted. Hmm. Oh, the fucking insect gleam. <laughs> yes. I forgot about that. Not my Thanks. fault. Should have been standing there. God damn it. Let me carve this fish. You got three livers now. You got six. Yeah, I should make that my shout out in the uh, fifth gen games for when I mount things. I'm sure all the new gen players would totally understand that one. I mean, the French-speaking ones would. No, he went back in the fucking sand. You. Yeah, I was expecting me. one to pop up underneath you, but I guess you fucking killed it so it despawned on my end. Ah! Alright, we got all of them. Let's go. How many do you have? Seven. Oh, thank god. Let's get the fuck out of here. I made it my shadow for when somebody else mounts. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, if it's someone else mounting, you shouldn't be saying you should swim on there. No, no, he did this. <laughs> I did this smile. I mounted it. Then, they, for some reason, he has a bunch of fish. Amazing. Yeah. I did, did this. Yeah, I see. This. Yeah. Yeah, see? He he mounted. Oh, hell yeah. 300 points. We're eating good tonight. <laughs> yeah.
Ain't looking good for uh, getting through that to the next one quickly. I mean, at least it look. It's easier to kill these ten than it was to kill the three in the village in low rank. Yeah, but that's because we have actual weapons. Yeah, we've got quartz. We've got quartz? I'm saying I was one of the ones that is up the quest that are uh, incomplete so far. Deliver three quartz. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well. Change into your delivery stuff. Oh boy. Let's carry some eggs. At least. This being an ore type quest will hopefully, you know, reward us with some ores. Sick. Hopefully. Oh, and I'd have to actually change my clothing still. I really should take the time to just make, like, the full vest void set or something so I don't look incredibly fucking stupid. <laughs> there, I put your delivery clown suit on. Yeah, I'm doing that now. Remind me again what do you need. <laughs> vest void top and arms, Velocipray, uh, Tazette. And then I have the Cephalos pants, but the blue pants also work for it. Set. We're going to swamp if you want to pick up a hot drink. Uh, anything for the head? No, anything. Doesn't matter. Okay. Those other four pieces are enough to have the full set. Cool drinks. Probably should start taking meats. Yeah, I'm bringing my barbecue spit. And barbecue spit. Uh, probably need to start getting some meat. Yeah, I got a couple stacks of it still, but I don't. I should probably start killing things and gathering more. I have a stack of burnt meat. Nice. Uh, get alchemy going and turn it into raw meat. Yeah, and one of king meats. Uh, let me see if I have anything. Da, da, da. Yeah. Man, this person actually has the black belt stuff on. Thing. Only three pieces of it, but I'm surprised they didn't make a black belt weapon then. Or I guess Serathlos's fin sword or fire sword might just be better. Unfortunately for them, we're in high rank now, so otherwise, maybe I would have helped them with that capture quest. First aids and nothing else. I'm not surprised, honestly. I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh my god, there's fucking it's Kelby than, here. It's more than you get in some other games. Yeah, by the time we're in G rank, I'm pretty sure it'll be giving us nothing, so...
fits nice into killing these Kelby. Giving horns at a good rate, too. Gonna eventually start needing to make those mega drugs. So, or not mega drugs, max potions and stuff. I'm getting a lot of hide. Okay, got two horns total. I've gotten like nothing but horns and a single uh raw meat. So I think we get the quartz from area eight. If you say so. I don't know. I could be wrong. Like it could be the uh, red zone in area 11. I think that's... The red zone's in 7. Whatever. Tons of cats just here. Well, I killed the boss on my end, but I mean, once we pick up something. Yeah, I just killed the cats. Again. Probably should have waited on that. Also, I fucked up and brought cool drinks instead of hot drinks. Yeah, no, I heard you say you were getting cool drinks. I was like, alright, I'm just gonna let him do it. It's fine. Surely there will be herbivores for me to kill for raw meat. I mean, there's some moss wine right outside of this. At least for now. Drop this side. Not this side either. And I'm not gonna mind those spots because they're. because they don't give uh, the big ones. I'm gonna mine them because I can and I'm here. Also, this is where I got the Dragonite Orb from previously. I'm waiting for my first stamina decrease to happen before eating this steak. Yeah, same. Nice cut meat. Hey, Zen. Early today? Yeah. Figured the earlier better for Sozu. And I was awake anyway, so, you know, why not? We're also getting to actually do high rank quests today, so that's nice. So, Sozu, speaking of us being in high rank now, any idea what set you're possibly going to go for? I'm going to have you hunt police off with me. Hmm. He doesn't have a full set, though. 
Maybe he does. He, he doesn't. Know. He doesn't. He only has three pieces. <laughs> Gotta go to work now. Unfortunate. I'll yeah, likely okay. still be here when you get back, Zen. There's a very good chance that I'll just be here for a while. Even if Sozu's not, I might go and like farm Vespoid or sit shit for the uh, high ranks version of the uh, backpacker armor. Well, if I, I feel like if I was going to do that, I'd probably get it off stream. I might go and kill some Rathian, though. Getting the Rathian set earlier would probably be nice. That would be nice, yes. I actually plan on getting the uh, pink set if I can. It has uh, good luck on it for high rank. Ooh. But we can't get that till five stars, so. Oh, there's a Bizarros that's going to jump up the moment we uh, mine this. Yeah, you will. Uh, eat your steak. Or not. Oh, shit. Yeah, I should have ate my steak. I didn't notice my stamina dropped. Bizarros, please. Anyway, you grabbed it, so I'm just going to... Go back to six, eat the steak, and then go back in. I'm pretty sure Bazarius also does not leave that spot. He doesn't, then he's back uh, on the ground. Yeah. He has to go for some fries attack every time. Oh, there's a ton of Velociprey in here. You got tested. Maybe. Almost. Serpentine. Holy shit, how did that not hit me? We take those. Easiest delivery of my career. Other than, other than that Warburn egg. That Warburn egg was like super easy to get in, in the village. Like Raflos didn't even try to stop me. No! Skill issue! There's so many of them. There's... There is a lot of them. It's like eight of them. Like, they all saw me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see if I can cull them a bit. It's like, yeah, you know, like, I might be able to get past them all, but for those less skilled, it'd be nice if there were fewer of them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you realize you didn't get a single one last time. Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no, Basarius was already awake. Yeah, probably because one was successfully delivered. Eh, I just cut one of them in half. Let's go. And Basarius yelled, so I dropped. I just cut two of them in half. Let's go. Oh. Basarius, please. And paralyzed. Thanks, best point. Dude, these things are like respawning in place. Oh, magic pixel. Please, that's why don't hit me. And just like that, billions of loss of prayer dead. Although they're still spawning. This might be a uh, you can't stop us all type moment. Except it's actually happening. There's 
so many. Did you get one out? Yeah. I wonder what attracts fast points to Vasarios. Probably the poison smell. Like a Venus flytrap kind of thing. I see. Alright, time to get hit by the Velocipray. Boxes. Right. I got I got fast. Alright, I'm gonna go grab one now. Yeah, these ones might actually be infinite. I've killed like 20 or 30 of them in there now. Sometimes killing like four of them with a single swing. Which feels pretty good. Oh hey, he's asleep now. Oh nice. I guess I'll go mine eight then. You don't mind, do you? I mind a lot. I mean, you said you were so skilled. Flacker shows you always using the pull his own weight. Can't even go and yeah. kill a Vespoid or a Velocipray like I did for him. Crazy. <laughs> Who got all the fish? Can't believe this. <laughs> Listen, man, I got one of the fish. I contributed. It's not my fault that the fish didn't spawn in my fucking game. <laughs> I also had seven of the ten uh, livers. Well, it's not my fault when you fucking kill them, they despawn on my end, but if I kill them, they don't despawn for you. I mean, it's a skill issue. It's fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah, get devs really should have made a better game. <laughs> Shit's held together by duct tape and tinfoil. Ah, crap, I just got bit because I'm too busy fucking talking. Wow. This guy. Can't even pull his own way. Says the I'm mining right now instead of actively contributing. Can't believe it. Gaslighting and shit. I mean, really, all I wanted was to break the old pickaxe I still had, and it didn't break. Well, Bizarre just woke up the moment I stepped in here. Ow. Well, that fucking hurt. What? What Mela said? No, Bizarre just ramming his face into me and almost killing me. Yeah, it hurts. I actually had a magic pixel. Like, single pixel. You know what? <laughs> you guys both suck. Wow. Rude. It's fucked up, Maelstrom. I thought we were cool. Maelstrom, aren't you still wearing just the leather set? Or the hunter set? Yeah, this guy's talking a lot of shit for somebody who's not even in high rank.
Yeah, because I have a life. Wow, rude. Fucked up, man. Can't just be saying shit like that to people. It's hurtful on the internet. I, like, I wouldn't call putting pulling all-nighters for work on a Saturday. You can't just tell him that, man. Hours. You can't just tell him <laughs> that, man. <laughs> Listen, all the Japanese office workers are going to be in shambles if you say this. Uh, they don't understand. <laughs> Pulled an all-nighter on a Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you pulled the, the all-nighter on a Friday, working, not partying. That's like the opposite of what you should be doing on your Fridays. On your Friday nights. It's like the opposite of having a life. That's, that's some pretty good lore right there. I like that. Uh, Mela, over here it was a long weekend, like four-day weekends. So I actually had my Friday on Wednesday, and I went to a friend's house, and we watched football together. How's that? How's that for life? Uh, watching football? Uh, I, I'm sorry, soccer. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, watching soccer. Eh. I mean, but hey, hey, no, but it, I was about to say, yeah, but you were like socializing that. with people IRL. That's, that's pretty life having. Also, I'm a bounty hunter now, apparently. Good, I made everyone insult each other. No, no, I'm agreeing with I Sozer mean, that he has a life. It's different. I'm just I mean, saying his taste of uh, watching things with people is uh, a little lacking. Uh, in Europe, it's not. It's, like, pretty standard. Yeah. A lot of people here watch sports, too. I just don't like sports. I don't find them entertaining. Also, what's the internet for if not... For insulting other people. It's for porn. In anonymity. It's for porn. That too. And then you insult people because they watch porn. True. <laughs> There's two separate Warren egg quests? Are you kidding me? Oh, hell yeah. There's two of them. Oh my god. Let's go. What the fuck? Ah. Alright, let's go kill Kutku. Let's go do an actual quest. Oh, you want to do an actual quest? Yeah, yeah. Only take delivering shit for so long. Alright, switching back to the Rathian set. This, this, this. Take that soft. Holy crap, my game just like froze for a moment. I know, right, Mella? An actual quest while wow, this guy has 10,000 hours in Rise for sure with his boss rush mentality. Uh huh. It's actually gonna suck because if I want to farm anything on my own now, I'll have to do it in the hub. And if I do that, I'll like skyrocket past him in HR. Even if it's like, okay, I'm gonna go farm like Rathlos plates. Like, we'll come back next time, and I'll probably be, like, HR 20, just trying to get a single plate. I wouldn't be surprised.
I mean, we can do out however many rifles you want to do. We'll have plenty of levels to farm. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I came out here to kill apps for us to get meat to cook. For Abdenoth. Wrong creature. Although, it's good coup. It might die quick enough that we don't need to eat anything. Yeah, but I would still rather have, um, like, meat stores. And of course I get a bone. Yeah, I got a small bone and one raw meat so far. Oh, yeah, two, two small bone. Let's go. Getting all the raw meat, let's go. Getting Most exciting thing in my life. Bones. Finally, one raw meat. Meat. I got nine raw meat from all that. Pretty good. I like how it sparkles when you hold it up. There you go. <laughs> You're such an ass. <laughs> That's what it's saying. <laughs> you just sent the message in fucking Japanese. <laughs> What's here? Oh, it's Kaku, probably. Yeah. It, it's basically you cooked it ultra well done. Mm. Thank you, I can read it minus the kanji in the middle. Or rather, ultra well. Yeah, yeah, the kanji is uh, just a kanji for cooking, like for uh, not cooking, but like pan, pan frying. No, you was, bastard. Yeah, I was hoping I wouldn't get here. Because I was in a good spot for the, uh, for the infinite. Can't believe you've done this. I just cut another. No, I didn't. But I cut another Velocipray in half. Oh, I didn't even think you were going to be in range for that. Yeah, but it's actually good because otherwise I would have been hit by the, by the tail. Oh, he's dying already. 
Yeah, I kind of want him to leave so we can go mine. Uh, you didn't paint ball him. Oh, true. I mean, he sleeps in five. Like, it doesn't matter. Okay. You'll finally get to see another monster sleep that's not a wrath. Congratulations. Yeah. Actually true. How long have you studied Japanese uh, for, apparently? That's a bit of a loaded question. Yeah, he's a weeb. He's been studying it since uh, he's been studying the blade all of his life. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to 11 to mine. Oh, 11, yeah. yeah. There, there is, in fact, a spot there to mine. True. I always forget about it. Uh... But yeah, I started watching anime and stuff, which counts because you learn vocabulary, like, passively. I wish I could disagree. Uh, but I started, like, the mid-aughts. Back then, I tried to learn grammar as well. But there weren't a lot of resources online. So eventually I gave up on it. Only several years later, like 2021 or something, or 2020, I think, that I start actually learning how to read. The raw meat from Bulfango. And, and back then, I was using uh, flashcards and stuff. Like, I would be at work, and during breaks and stuff, I would just do flashcards. Or, like, read light novels and stuff. Yeah, that was a big reason why I Dude, started learning. Dude, a lot of untranslated well. games really suck. Like, the PS Vita alone was super successful in Japan. But but almost none of those games got translated. Mm hmm Or hey, I mean, Monster Hunter Frontier, like, almost nothing of it's translated other than what you need to play. I hope by now it might be better. No, I'm pretty sure me and Maelstrom were talking about it recently. Um, the majority of that game is still not translated, which fair is a lot, but it still sucks. Yeah, it is a lot. It it there's a like, lot there, but it does suck that it's, it's like not over translated. A decade of content. Mm -hmm. The only important stuff is translated. Yeah, only the stuff you need to be able to play is translated. Yeah, in like 2021, maybe I tried to play the uh, Japanese version of was it Dragon Quest V? Because you know, Dragon Quest games are games for children. Yeah. And I think it was Tim Rogers that said it was a good game for uh, beginners. Both PSP and Vita had awesome Japanese exclusive never came to the West. Yeah, you know. Like Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Can't believe this. Although that wasn't exclusive to the PSP. That was also on the PS3. Portable 3rd HD or some shit on the PS3. And I never actually tried to... Attach like a program that would like grab the actual like letters for, for you, like off a game. Because you can do that with a lot of indie games. Yeah. I think that. No, right. that's not actually what Axiom did. I was gonna say, I think that's what Axiom did for um the Untranslated Trials games. But I think he actually just had a fucking overlay that somebody made for it. Yeah, and like he, scripts yeah, and shit. Badges, yeah. Think. 
No, I think he had, like, overlays and shit from, like, scripts that just told you what was there. If you were playing in a very specific order, it, like, lined up perfectly. But then you were just basically playing the game with a guide, which I personally didn't like the idea of, but, you know. Yeah. He's the one playing uh, it, not me. Like, with Unity games, you can also, like, just translate the whole thing easily. Mm. No. And I say easily, but it's like, yeah, stuff can break because of uh, events and stuff. Yeah. They'll be tied to the Japanese names. So I don't think I got a single high rank cut Q material. <laughs> I didn't even notice what I got. Uh, do not use Duolingo. That's your first tip. <laughs> immediately like, shot down like duolingo is bad like duolingo is the like so for, for starters duolingo doesn't actually pick up on your pronunciation per correctly no matter your language really yeah hmm. like i've seen for example i've even seen like for example uh streams of japanese people uh, learning English with Duolingo and they would say stuff perfectly fine and Duolingo would say no that's wrong <laughs> no that's wrong awesome you love to see it. It, it, it it's it's like playing lifeline oh god <laughs> well there's a, your first fucking mistake <laughs> So that's the first issue. The second issue is that you should not be learning languages by translating. You should be learning them from zero, as if they're your first language, the first language you learn. And what Duolingo does is that it asks you your mother, your mother language, and your third grade language and then asks you to constantly translate from one to the other. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a very natural way of learning a language. It's not. Like, sure, for stuff like vocabulary and stuff, it can help. But, like, for that you have Anki. Anki is uh, the flashcard program. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you don't care about learning a language, but you like the game aspect of Duolingo, then, I mean, go for it. You will learn something with Duolingo, but if you actually care about learning the language that you want to learn, then Duolingo is just plain bad. We got a three Velocidrum quest up. Three velocity room. Okay. Uh, I'll give you actual tips in a sec. Once I'm done menuing. Once he's done studying the kanji on his screen, so he figures out the fuck he's doing. No, I, I don't need to do that anymore. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've memorized the menus. Perfect. Like, the menus aren't... There's wrong. not a ton to them. There's not a ton to them. They're always the same. Mm -hmm. So you learn you learn it through uh, repetition and stuff. It's more so like remembering the kanji for fang and for claw. And discerning between both of them. The kanji for scale, shell... Stuff like that is what's hardest. Fair enough. Uh, this. Uh, 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 yeah, velocity ropes. Yeah. You got three of them in the forest and hills to have to die. How would you recommend I restart then any books I could learn or I could buy? Kanji are important, of course, but they feel so mean uh, from a learning perspective, just remembering it. Yeah, dude, like, 
I don't even know where you'd begin to learn like Japanese. Like I see their I see their like their characters and everything, the kanji and whatnot. And I look at it, it's like uh, what the fuck am I looking at? Like my so brain just fries my brain just fries like, looking at it. It's like you already know the kanas, right? And I imagine you have a basic enough vocabulary that if you read a word in uh, hiragana, for example, you will understand what it is. Like, for example, if you see the word for water in kana, then you'll know exactly what... You're not up on your katakana. Ah, katakana you won't see all, all that often. You'll see it in this game, for sure. But, uh, won't be much of an issue. Those are just different dialects for Japanese, right? Uh, no. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, katakana are... They're like equivalents to the hiragana. Well, I don't know what that is either. I thought these were just dialects, I just assumed. So like, the hiragana are the simpler letters that look... Oh, like I've seen those before, yeah. And the katakana are the ones that are more... The crazier lines. looking... Oh. I thought you were going to say it was the crazier looking ones. Yeah, like, uh, for example, that's a uh, hiragana for ma. And that's the katakana for ra. Mm. Uh, katakana can be used for local words as well. For example, if you're trying to come across as uh, rougher, like somewhat manlier, if you will, you might use uh, like katakana to refer to yourself. So it's not only for foreign words. Are you telling me that in Yakuza they speak in katakana? I'm sure there will be katakana there. Uh, for example, uh, liver in this game is in katakana. Interesting. Here we have Japanese lessons of Sozu. Obviously, item and quests. An option is in katakana as well, and status, or status, and chat log, and quest clear, they're all in katakana. Uh, the pickaxe is in katakana as well. That was like the easiest velocity drum kill of my fucking life. I had him perfectly stunlocked, he couldn't do anything. Yeah, I'm just grabbing meat. Yeah, I brought some uh, of my extra but, supply in, so I didn't need to do that. Uh, but basically, Maelstrom, what I would tell you to do is, like, obviously, you have, you already know the Hiragana, so that's a good start. And you have vocabulary, so that's also a good start. I would learn the first, I don't know, 200 kanji of, uh, in Anki. And then move on to reading, like, manga. Like simple manga for children. Alternatively, alternatively, you can do what I was doing back then, which was just follow uh, Japanese Twitter accounts. And whenever I would see them, I would try to read them. Man, I'm getting so many like kills where I'm cutting them in half. It's pretty. Pretty dope. You love to see, even though you don't get any items out of it. You probably have like 20 more seconds, if I had to guess. There you go. Two cars. I love it. His body just disappeared. That means he's spawned in 10 now. 
Yeah, Anki is for flash cards, and the flash cards are for uh, vocabulary. They will also have uh, uh, some sentences in the flash cards. Not not all of them will have sentences, but you can edit your own flash cards so that they have sentences. Here's a uh, relevant question for that. Considering you said, like, read, like, simple manga for children, would that be, like, Shonen Jump, or is there, like, something else that you would recommend? Uh, first off, I would recommend stuff for younger, younger than that. Mm. Like, uh, uh, Yotsubato, y you wouldn't know that, but it's very... It actually but... sounds familiar, I might know that. Like, if you uh, showed it to me, I might know it. Like, it's from the same author as uh, Azumanga Daio. You could try reading Azumanga Daio as well. That sounds really familiar, too. It, it was very popular in, like, mid thoughts. Also, hi, Noble. And and you still see the memes from Azumanga Daio. Oh, Rathlos Sometimes. just came here. Nice. Like the uh, yellow cat that speaks in broken English. Like the meme of... Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Because that's a very basic thing they learn in Japan. Like when, when they learn English, that's one of the first sentences they learn. Hmm. What the hell just and, got deleted? Oh, you too blank. The, and they learn the whole thing together. So they don't understand that they are supposed to be greeting an answer to the greeting. Mm hmm. I got a claw. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, you, you can also Google uh, Japanese books that are aimed at children. I, I guess you could also, like, I know there's one with a white bear. Oh my That's... god, it's the Coca Cola bear. Crazy. I don't know what. Right, I, I think it's. Or is it Dr. Pepper? It might be Coca Cola or it's Dr. Pepper, one of the two, I can't remember. It's a fucking polar bear. It's literally just their mascot for their drink. But I don't oh. think they use it anymore. Coca Cola, yeah. I don't think they uh, use it I anymore, but it was a thing. Coca Cola was uh, St. Nicholas. No. <laughs> Although I know what you're referencing. <laughs> There's a lot of ads like that for Christmas and shit where it just. Santa with whatever product. I mean, I've never heard of a bear. Yeah, it's the Coca Cola. It's the Coca Cola polar bear. I don't think they use it for their advertisements anymore, but it was very popular for them to do it for a long time. Yeah, so basically what you're looking to get is uh, immersion. Because learning languages is all through being immersed in them and learning them through uh, repetition. What about like early Same. Pokemon games, like not translated? Oh yeah, you, you could do that. Because I remember when I was a kid, um... Yeah, there was Pokemon Green. Yeah, like those were the... Uh first games that I started, like, really reading. I was not good at reading for a very long time, but, you know, playing video games and them not having, you know, fully voiced shit, I was like, well, <laughs> time to learn, I guess. Yeah, now imagine playing them without even knowing English. Yeah. I mean, that may as well have been what I was doing originally. Like, I could, like, not fucking read when I was a kid because my eyes were fucked up. Uh, no, I'm not familiar with Migaku. 
What is that? Is that like a uh, learning book, like Genki? Because the problem with uh, learning grammar in Japanese is that they don't have actual rules. Like, they haven't decided yet on the actual rules of their language. That sounds so some awful. Books will say, yeah, so some books will say, oh, it works like this. And other books will say, oh, it works like that. That sounds fucking awful to deal with. Mind you, I can barely understand English grammar as it stands. I don't know if I could deal with a language that doesn't have rules. That's another learning to tool like Duolingo. Uh, if it's like I Duolingo, then it's probably not great. Yeah, I wouldn't put too much faith on uh, those learning tools. I broke my pickaxe, so I'm sitting here trying to get bones to make more. Discount link for Anki? Anki is free. The fuck? What? <laughs> okay. Well, that's immediately sketchy as fuck. Nice. Amazing. Like, Anki is free, and you can get free... Free, uh... Yeah, free cards as well. Dude, discount link for free product. Let's go. Like, if it's Migaku that, that is paid, and uh, he has a discount link for it, then okay. <laughs> That's something else. My favorite is always when people sell free stuff for uh, payments on Twitter and shit. So, yep, that's I mean, not a scam at all. I mean, I wouldn't understand selling the, uh, the flashcards. If they're his flashcards. Because that's actually a lot of work to do and to gather. Wow. Uh, I guess we're going down. These mining spots are really not paying off for me. Yeah, I only have three pickaxes and they all broke. Yeah, I made two more. I got, I only got like iron and match light and earth crystals. I didn't get any draconite or anything. That really sucks. Yeah, actually, same. That really sucks. Ah, uh, yes, flesh cards available available through pa Patreon. Okay. I mean, I use flash cards from uh, 4 chan that were free, and I had, and I had the choice between two thousand or six thousand of them. That's a lot of flash cards. Uh, there's a lot of kanji. Yeah, I'm aware. Like, I basically stopped with uh, with the flashcards once I got to flashcards that were like about business terms that you would read on uh, on newspapers. I was like, okay, uh, I I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this. I'm got I'm gonna read actual manga and learn vocabulary through their vocabulary that I'm more interested in. Can't see where he went. Oh, here he is. Yeah, so... Should probably move elsewhere. No, 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 no. We got him right where we want him. Actually true. Well, shit. Now we don't. We missed him, like, once. Ow. Can't see a thing. Same, dude. Just, just swing, just swing the sword. <laughs> swing and pray. Also, yeah. you're not even like close to hitting him. Yeah, I know. I, I was thinking that he like might 
jump my way. Yeah. There you go. Hey, he didn't fly out of bounds like I thought he was going to. Nice. Yes, use Zunky and read mangoes for babies. Or, you know, also play video games more intended for children, like Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon, or exactly. so you mentioned, what, Dragon Quest V earlier? Yeah. Or like, uh, uh, what, what was the name? Natsuno Yasumi. Like, every Japanese person will know Nats Natsuno Yasumi. Pokemon's a good idea? Yes. Pokemon is like the ideal target for children video game, more or less. Well, I don't know how I would really described for modern ones. The early Pokemon games definitely were. Yeah, Summer the Game. That's Natsune Asumi. Literally Summer Vacation. Or Natsu's Vacation. Uh, no. Duolingo is bad. Period. <laughs> not just for, not just for Japanese, but for every language. Like, I've tried Duolingo. It was like, I don't know, 10 years ago or something, but I did try Duolingo. That bad, huh? Uh, back then, I was studying German, and I was like, oh, might as well use Duolingo, like, as an extra to what I was studying. And... I really didn't like it. Like, I could tell back then that it wasn't... Like, good for actually learning a language. Like, it's good if you want to translate, I guess. Dude, you could be a translator! I hear that they're firing all of them because they suck at their jobs anyways. <laughs> Sell crap. Why do I have two stacks of frogs? <laughs> I'm going to translate Japanese into sus. Yeah, shit like that is exactly what I was fucking referring to. <laughs> oh, God. So cringe. It's fucking crazy that those people are actually doing that. So much. So much marijuana. Got like four stacks of them. Yeah, that fishing quest and the liver quest gave us a lot of them. Well, two stacks of those. Alright, we got Rathian in the desert. Rathian, my beloved. Same, dude. There's a couple uh, languages that I've been interested in learning, but it's also like, yeah, I'm barely good enough at English, I shouldn't be learning another language. <laughs> That's how I feel about it, typically. I mean, you can learn any language as long as you have an interest in it. 
true. Like uh, in uh, language teaching, we speak of uh, intrinsic and extrinsic uh, motivation. Like if you have intrinsic, then you can pretty much learn any. any yeah, way. we talked about this before, although I don't think it was on stream. Like, uh, I guess I probably shouldn't be selling the Velocipre stuff. It'll be fine. We already have a Rathian that we can hunt. Uh, yeah, no problem, Mela. Always, <laughs> always glad to help when it comes to languages. Yeah, you know what, like seven of them now? I've studied seven, but I'm not, like, fluent or anything in seven. Fair enough. Like, I can hold a conversation, like, five of them, and I can understand six. This dude's over here edge-walking around. RP walking everywhere. Hell yeah, selling all... All the cuckoo parts. Sozu, master of tongues. Uh, yeah, what's my name on the... Uh, on Discord? Like, in the about me. Oh uh, yeah, scholar of the imaginary arts. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Because someone called me that because of uh, all the languages, and I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that sounds good. This dude Hopefully came in here, walked around, saw we weren't doing, like, G-Rank quests, and left. <laughs> I mean. Or maybe be it was because you answered in English. Yeah, maybe. You can't actually name your character in Japanese. It has to be in English. Or rather, in Roman script. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. But, like, when you make your character, it shows you the keyboard, and the keyboard only has uh, Roman script. That's odd. I guess because it's supposed to be like European inspired game, they were like, oh, let's just have them use Roman scripts. Like, maybe? I guess that explains why we haven't seen anybody with, like, you know, not English character names. Mm hmm. Uh, what are we hunting? Rathian. In the desert. Okay. One cool drink. Let's go. Yeah, I've, uh... Speaking of running out of space, I'm now finally using my third box. Well, look at this guy with the third box. The tickets have been pushed onto the third box space. It would probably be better if I didn't have, like, two full rows of flash bombs from all the village hunts I did, but, you know, it, it just be like that sometimes. And then I also have, like, a full, uh, full row worth of iron ore from all the mining I did for Matchlight and, uh, Earth Crystals. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention this, Mela, but I actually had to stop studying Japanese to learn Dutch. Unfortunate. Because, <laughs> you know, I live in a Dutch-speaking country. <laughs> yeah. And I wanted to actually, like, work and make use of the languages that I, that I know. So, the past year, two years by now, maybe? That's what I've been working on. So, Japanese has taken a, taken a hiatus, a very Hunter Hunter-like hiatus.
And not only that, now I gotta relearn French as well. Are you still trying to become an English teacher? No. Uh, I gave up on it, huh? It's not that I had kind of up, gave up. It's more that finding a job teaching adults, which was what I was... True. Uh, would be really hard. I could teach Portuguese, since I'm Portuguese. But there aren't... Uh, yeah, there's probably not a much that. demand for that. I mean, there's a demand, because... I said as much people demand. Here, people here buy houses in uh, Southern Europe. Mm. Like, vacation houses. Also, they respawn, by the way. Yeah, I saw that. I forgot they didn't give uh, cool drinks. Yeah, they only gave one. Or they didn't give any. I only brought one, though. No, it didn't give any. Yeah. I brought one. Because I was like, oh, they only give two. <laughs> so I'll bring one, so I have a full stack. Yeah, I only brought one, because I don't think Baratheon actually goes to the hot areas. But I did want to come here and like do the mining and everything. Ah, God damn it. Got hit and uh, took all of my red health away. Rip. Uh, I can't say I do, Mala, but I also don't want to learn about Japanese history from like English books and stuff. Yeah, you'd want to read, you know, Japanese books. I would assume. You think the Japanese would know their history better than an English book would? Oh, I got something rare. Oh, fuck you. Oh, you might have got a rust stone. Yeah, I got a rust stone. Yeah, I have an interest in, in the culture as well. I'm also interested in reading the Japanese version of uh, the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I've, at times, briefly looked into, like, not Japanese history, but, like, um, like, their old myths and stuff. They have a lot of, like, really interesting shit going on in that category. I mean, I've also played Rant 7. <laughs> I played Sengoku Kures, so I guess I know <laughs> Japanese history. <laughs> I know about the Sengoku period. Uh, that's the one with the uh, Oda Nobunaga. Mm. You might recognize the name. I. Zero. It's a very easily recognizable name. Uh, I don't know. I'd be more surprised if people didn't know about that one if they've like interacted with Japanese stuff at all. Yeah, she's probably over in like ten or three or some shit. Yeah, I don't think she. Or she does, but she usually isn't. It does. It seems very rare for her to be in these hot areas. And like, learning, like history from uh, outside sources and from inside sources and seeing the differences yeah it can be very funny. different it's very funny or you know if you have shit that's just blatantly wrong like um the recent quote unquote totally meant to be like documentary style uh, Cleopatra shit that I think Netflix did uh the recent one is uh of uh Napoleon but, but it's the same. No, I'm talking about the Cleopatra thing they did, I think, earlier this year, or late last year. Oh, yeah, uh, the Cleopatra thing was an actual uh, museum. 
No, I'm talking about the um the show that was run by like Will Smith's wife or whatever. Oh, but there was a Cleopatra thing before that, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm talking about the thing where they were claiming that Cleopatra was black, when even Egyptians were like, no, she wasn't. Yep. So it's like, yeah, you get some very wrong shit if you uh don't look for uh, sources from the actual culture. Ow. But at the same time, you have uh, stuff like Christopher Columbus, Columbus, right? So what would you say, where would you say he comes from? He was, he was Spanish, wasn't he? He, he wasn't, he wasn't <laughs> British. No, I think well, he, no, well, it's been a long he, time since I've listened to anything about Christopher Columbus. I know that he's not fucking... Like, you know, whatever. Yeah, was it he English? got... Was it that the Say? Spanish were the ones that funded his trip? There's something going on there. I don't remember exactly all the uh, details for it. So yes, the Spanish did fund his trip. That is true. But was he Spanish or something else? I don't recall. You don't recall? It's been a long so, time. So it's widely accepted in the U.S. that he's Italian. But if you look into it, no one actually knows where exactly he came from. Hmm. He's said to like have been born in uh, Naples, but like that seems at the same time a bit uh, like making shit up in the US because you as you know US has a large enough uh, Italian presence and that Italian Yeah presence is, there's a lot of Italian immigrants here from uh, when it was founded and, Yeah and those immigrants are all southern Italian from places like Naples And so when I hear from Americans that, oh, he was Italian, blah, blah, I'm always brought back to that. That there's, like, political reasons for Americans to believe he was, uh, he was Italian. Yeah, I don't remember what we were apparently taught that he was supposed to be in school. Actually, I don't think they mentioned that in my schools. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Because, you know, American education. But if, for example, if you go on uh, Wikipedia or whatever, English Wikipedia, it'll say stuff like that. Uh, but so, the reason I'm mentioning this is because I learned in school that he was Portuguese. Ah, the classic. Yes. It's like when you uh, go to certain places like Korea and Jesus is Korean in that place. Uh, no, not actually that, but rather because uh, he had presence in the entirety of the Mediterranean Sea. Mm. And that's part of why no one knows uh, which nationality he was actually of. And so you have Italy, Spain, and Portugal all claiming that he was theirs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, who doesn't want to claim the guy who discovered, quote-unquote, uh, a new continent? Well, he didn't discover it, though. Yeah, that's why I said, quote-unquote. Like, Portugal had the best maps of the time and we had already been to Brazil. Like, we had already found Brazil by the time he gets to North America. Yeah, but he found... They found Brazil, not North America. Come on, man, different. My favorite is when you look at those really old maps and they're so fucking wrong. <laughs> I mean, it was the style at the time. Yeah. 
But I just always love seeing him because it's like, wow, this has this has no similarity to real life. That's crazy. Get your tail cut. Yeah, nobody actually knows where he came from, no. There's like no records. Because, I mean, we're talking about the 1500s or whatever. Yeah, 1500s are a wild time. Nobody knew shit back then. And it's not like early record keeping has ever been a good thing. Or rather, not a good thing, but like a well done thing. Yeah, no, like, those kinds of public records only came about with Napoleon. If I remember cor correctly. It's part of why all Dutch people have fucked up surnames. Because they thought it was a fad. Mm hmm. So they all gave themselves, like, joke surnames. Like poop and dick. And yeah, imagine. Because imagine being also... that family, like fucking nowadays. And it's like, oh, what's your last name? A uh, whore? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you just say? I, I mean, it'll be whore in Japanese. Yeah. In Japanese, in, in Dutch. Please stop, so, Rathian. So. If they're English speakers like Americans with a Dutch surname, they will know what it means. They'll just be proud of their uh, Dutch ancestry <laughs> <laughs> without knowing what their surname means. It's like, uh, wasn't it Trump that had a German surname and was found out that his surname, surname was actually like Trump, <laughs> and and then it was anglicized to Trump. I have no idea. I don't keep up with any of that shit, but it sounds funny. This is a pretty big Rathian though, this might be a Silver Crown. Oh. No frame. Tackle. Yeah, I always love the zero frame tackles. Classic. What do you mean that fucking hit me? Okay, she's not angry anymore. I mean, she might be now, considering she just flinched. I uh, don't know. You couldn't flinch like two frames sooner? That almost hurt. They do gotta sharpen though. I was about to ask if we mined already, and then I saw the rock in my inventory. 
Yeah, I mean, we obviously went there first. Yeah. Actually, be attacking him with health is low. Yeah, very liable to die with that health if she hits you. Yeah, I thought she was going to seven, and it did show her there for a moment. Oh, she is actually going... Okay, well... Oh. Uh, interesting. That's very interesting. <laughs> that's not good. We don't have any hot or cool drinks. I mean, I drank mine. So did I. It, it hasn't said yet <laughs> that it ran out. Maybe we just weren't paying attention. I mean, I drank mine late. Or did I? Did I even drink it? No, I didn't. Mine? Oh, no. Yeah, no, mine's uh, mine's gone. There Unfortunate. No, go. oh, she's gonna leave anyway. I thought she might. And off she goes. And that map really needs to figure out what it's doing. Samurai Wars is what made me interested in learning about all the different Sengoku era leaders and people when I started playing it a decade ago. Neo 2 also helped with that as well. Yeah, I mean, I know... I'm, well, I know from watching the movie of the... Not Prince Monon, okay, it's a... Kaguya? Yeah, Prince Kaguya. I know that story from watching the movie, that's very... Like, the only Ghibli movie I like. Really? Yes. Any particular reason, or...? I don't like uh, Miyazaki stuff. Mm. And, and that movie isn't directed by Miyazaki. <laughs> Fair enough. And, and actually has a nice style that you don't really see a lot with uh, Ghibli movies. Like, I essentially... I think Ghibli movies are very, very overrated. Oh, they definitely are. Like, I like some of their movies, but it's also like, holy shit, people suck off the producers of these movies so hard. They're like, baby's first anime. And, and yes, they are very well animated, but the animators are treated like shit by the director. I'm sure. Like, he's actually notorious. Uh, and Ghibli is notorious in Japan. To have a, most new newcomers quit. High turnover rate. Because uh, he doesn't want people like doing anything digital. And they all learn digital digital methods nowadays because, so of, of course my opinion on that is fair because i personally really like the hand-drawn style but you should also probably not treat them like shit and possibly properly compensate them i don't know how the compensation is working on that end so you can do nowadays you can easily do the uh, hand-drawn style digitally mm -hmm. so that's not a problem it's really just an old man wanting to stick to his old ways and having like the pedigree uh, to be able to do it without any repercussion. Yeah. Which is a very Japanese thing as well, but oh yeah, he actually he actually has the pedigree to for uh, like foreigners to be like, yeah, but he's good though. Yeah, but he is good though. But that doesn't excuse you being a piece of shit. It's like. Ah uh, yes, but he's good, and he has a funny meme of uh, anime was a mistake. So, so who cares? 
obviously the people that tried working for him. Yeah. Duh. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said that I didn't like some of their stuff, but it's not, like, God's given grace to mankind, like some people like talking about it. Like, I know a ton of people are obsessed with, uh, I think Princess Mononoke. Yeah, I've never watched Princess Mononoke. I pretty much watched all the other ones because my ex liked Ghibli movies, because of course she did. Yeah, I remember you talking about that. I, I thought Ponyo was okay. Which one was that? Uh, it's like a fish. It's like a Lilo and Stitch kind of story. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one then. But I've only ever seen mostly like the older stuff, and but only a fish, select few of them. Instead of being instead of being an alien, it's like a fish boy. And when I say fish boy, it looks just like a boy, but he comes from uh, the sea. Mm. So kind of like an Atlantean in some cases, without like the fish features. He, yeah, without the fish f features, and he looks like a beam. Like a what? A beam. A beam. A beam, you know, the kind that you eat. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I sent you a gif. You can search for more Ponyo gifs on Discord if you want. Monoke is great, the background and it's so beautiful. I think I've only seen Princess Monoke once on Toonami, like, 20-some years ago. So I don't remember it very well. Yeah, see, Mela, the, the issue for me is that good-looking visuals are not enough for me. I, I need to have a good story or at least the story i'm into mm -hmm. like it could be like a so bad it's good kind of story or it could be like personally <laughs> that i like but like ghibli stories have nothing they have nothing there they do feel like a whole lot of nothing honestly Like, and, like, at the same time, I get it, because, uh, like, in a way, I get it, because uh, Asian storytelling is very different from Western, where Eastern is more about setting the right tones, more than, than the events that actually transpire. Yeah, I've never but... seen that shit you just sent me. But, uh... The thing is that I don't see much of that in Ghibli movies either. Alright, I'll send you a couple more, because why not? Stop. What is wrong with you? Why are you like this? Like, I remember the first one I watched was Howl's Moving Castle. And I remember thinking at the time, like I was, I don't know, 
17, 16. I remember thinking at the time that there was a lot that could be worked on and none of it was used. So it felt like a whole load of nothing. Yeah. My biggest memories of House Boom and Castle were uh, memeing about it with Clownface. We watched it together and we were just memeing the entire time. <gasps> so, yeah, so I've watched enough Ghibli movies to be like yeah I don't care if everyone says that Mononoke is the best one because I've watched enough to know <laughs> not a very high bar like it. That's, and it's not a high bar like it might actually have a story that the others don't have but that's that's not that's just gonna that just just means that it's gonna be the best out of a pile of shit. Like it'll be like the cherry on top. All right, man, we got eggs to deliver. All right, I'm changing. I'm changing uh, suit. New clown suit just dropped. Oh. Oh, I haven't watched the Ghibli movie since uh, I stopped dating that that person either. And perhaps I should mention we we did not <laughs> we did not stop dating because of Ghibli movies. No, no, you're not supposed to say that. It's you're supposed to just leave it. <laughs> It was much more funny without that context. Come on, man. What about Lupin? I only know Lupin the Third, and that's not Ghibli. I only know the opening for Lupin the Third. Oh, did they do a Lupin the Third movie? Was it Miyazaki directing it? We're heading to the jungle, by the way. Also, I only know that Lupin the Third exists and that it's very popular. I've never watched a single movie. Same. Uh, it doesn't say Studio Ghibli Lupin the Third. Like, I'm on the Studio Ghibli uh, Wikipedia page. And there's no... No loop on the third movie that I see. Apparently they're adapting the, the Boy and the Heron. Or they adapted it last year. But that was Hayao Miyazaki, so... Gross. Oh, yeah. The last Hayao Miyazaki movie I watched was uh, The Wind Rises. 2013. I also hope for anybody that didn't have context... Because you just said Miyazaki's first name, right? Or last name, whatever. Ghibli's. Yes. I was really hoping that you yeah. just weren't going to do that the entire time, so anybody hearing Miyazaki would think Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> I figured. I figured that was where you you were going. Uh, uh, where is it? We're going to the jungle. Uh, jungle. Welcome to the jungle, man. We like fun and games or something. Sing a hot drink. Might be enough. For the jungle? What are you getting hot drinks for? Uh, the caves. Yeah, but we're going to get eggs. Yeah, we can cross the the cave in four. Yeah, I guess. There'll probably probably be Rathian in the in the egg area. 
Yeah. Which is gonna really hurt if we get hit by that. And both Fango in the cave. Is uh the mining spot in three the rare spot? No. Hmm. Think the rare might be in nine. I haven't done a ton of mining in this uh, map. You know, most of my time was spent yeah. killing like Rathian and shit. So I was just in the forest yeah. and hills and desert. I haven't mined here in a while either. Fucking Bolfango. Most of them are really. Uh... Oh, I got a mechalite. Thanks. You're welcome. There's another one, by the way. Yeah, really crazy. Thanks for telling me. You're welcome. <laughs> That's what I was expecting immediately to follow that. There you go. Hate him so much. Oh. Hey man, there's a third one. I actually only got a single one. <laughs> Look, there are mining spots in all the caves, so might want to yeah. stand as well. And I'll just munch on the steaks that I brought after I'm done in the caves. I pray in seven. I mean, they're gonna change once we grab. Yeah, most likely. I was really surprised that previously doing this, the cave with all the Bolfango was the easiest one to get through. Mostly because Rathian couldn't follow us and shit. And because they run in the straight line. Mm hmm. And hit each other. Oh, oh I already broke two. Is there another spot on this side? I think there's four and four. Might, might be what you're thinking of. I just broke two pickaxes already. What the fuck? This is... Okay. Yeah, they, like, broke, broke immediately. Broken. Like, back to back. Was there two spots in nine, or is it only one? I couldn't find a second one, so... I'll just take your word for it then. You know what really sucks though about wanting the Wrath Armors? Uh, I'm pretty sure every single piece is going to need a plate. Every single piece of armor needs a plate. Is there only one here as well? What the hell? That's looking like it. I guess all of them are mostly clustered in, uh... In four? Yeah. Also, I got a Union Ore, so that's cool. Oh, nice. I haven't gotten one since the first one. Uh, this was my first one. Union Ore should, as far as I recall, be really rare unless you're in um the volcano. Right, time to kill all the Bulfango in four, and then mine. Yeah, 
but they'll respawn. Actually, I'll grab the egg first. Or no. If I grab the egg, they'll spawn, and then... Yeah, there might be something else in there right now. We should check first. It'll be hell to mine. Ah, uh, no. They're, they're both angle here. <clears throat> well, we better start fucking clearing them out, I guess. I'm gonna grab the egg. Ow. Eo prey can actually jump up here. Eo prey, please. I mean, I I don't have stamina, but I might as well. <laughs> Okay, I was almost hopeful that maybe it changed for some reason. Oh god. I want it for you instead of me. Oh, there's another one here. I couldn't see it. Yeah, it'd be like that. It was like behind the boulder. Mm hmm. Ah. Oh. They hurt. Yeah. Alright, Never know when you're gonna need those both Fango hides, right? I mean, they're also giving you a meat, yeah. so... I think they're actively respawning while we're in here. Yeah, they are. Awesome. Can't even mine in peace. Yeah, so don't carve them. Yeah, just go straight for the mining. Yeah, if you carve them, they uh, respawn more quickly. Unlucky for me. I'm at 25 stamina. Let's go. Ow. What do you mean he can face through that rock? It's just the two mining spots in here, right? Is there a third one? There is the third one. Yeah, and the thing is that with high rank, there might be an extra one. There's one right here. Ow. They're spawning out of nowhere. Yeah, I walked over here and saw like three of them spawn. And I don't have stamina anymore. Same. I don't tell on eating these steaks until I'm, uh, you know, done in, in this area. Yeah. I 
killed the Boldrum. Same. Okay. So there's a third spot. Yeah, there. it's right here. And another fucking Bulfango just spawned. side like at the other entrance just go home now oh, the one in the back yeah okay, I'm officially done mining also all my last pickaxe broke too so oh. can you help deal with it? <laughs> No, no, I don't think oh. I want to. <laughs> oh. No, please. You're doing good in there, man. <laughs> doing fine. There's five of them. <laughs> please tell me there's no more. Okay, I'm done. Alright, let me out of this hellhole. Yeah, that area sucks ass if you're actually trying to mine in it. Uh, let's see. Fucking eye of prey! Of course I get hit. Of course I get hit. I can't get out of this fucking corner because the camera's fucked up. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna go to area 7. <laughs> to eat my steak. Dude, they actually trapped me in the fucking corner, so I couldn't move. Yeah, I'm poisoned. Yo, pray, please. Okay, jump back down. Cool. Hopefully these don't respawn. Uh, when I came in, there was only one, so... Okay. They shouldn't. What the fuck was that? What? The bull uh, fango that was going for me turned 90 to Furies when like he was starting up his run and just went for you instead. Oh god. I had nowhere to go. Like, there were two that ran into the uh, exit. Nice. So I could, couldn't go through it. I'm out. Nice. Let's go. I just have to hope the Velociper leave me the fuck alone. Uh, 
the hell? What? It wouldn't let me walk the right way. Hmm. Like, Odd. Sure, I I wasn't looking at the exit, but that doesn't mean it's gonna stop you from going through it. Yeah. Rathians in area one. Of course, of course she is. Immediately. Yep. Nice. Like one of the ones that usually goes first <clears throat> uh, went last. No, oh, nice. So instead of going one way, you went the other and actually hit me. And I'm through. I don't hear Rathian here anymore. God, camera, please. Alright, I'm through. I've made the there camp with the second egg. The a boldrum? Question mark. Yes, boldrum. You know, a big bullfango. Watch me. In area one. Two. God damn it. No, in area four. Oh, okay. I was really confused because I thought you said you got through and like you were in area one. It's like there's a boldrum in the way. It's like ah. Uh... No, I said there was boldrum. There was a boldrum in the way. Hmm. What? I don't understand how I didn't just get hit, but I'll take it. What the hell was that drift? <laughs> he literally turned 90 degrees. More. Like, what the hell? That's crazy bull thing of unlocked multi-track drifting. It's like he hit the, uh, the boulder. And bounced. And then <laughs> And then turns like a hundred degrees. It was more than ninety. Fun. Don't worry though, man. I got it. Pro egg deliverer over here. I mean, last time around it was me. Mm hmm. Yeah, sure it was. That's so fine. Uh huh. Nobody believes you. I mean, I will admit it's not the greatest showing. I, I, I hate these fucking quests, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't mind them being a thing, but it's like, there's fucking four of them in four stars. So it's like, why, dude? Well, the 
because you gotta do them. That's it just gave us. Kit. It just gave me potions, nutrients, honey, and an egg ticket. Yeah, it gave me nutrients. Crazy rewards. And the egg as well. Crazy rewards. Well, it also gave 480 hunter rank points. That's not bad. I'm curious more how much the actual monsters will give. We did. Yeah. Like more than the Rathian. I actually didn't pay attention to how much the Rathian gave us. Oh, I got two dragon life. Nice. I only got one, but I did get that Union or so. Any more delivery quests? Yeah, there's the other Warven Egg one for Forest and Hills. Do you have it? Yep. I checked before leaving. Uh, I I have an herbivore. It's still I'm already putting this one up. That we haven't done yet. I'm sure that one will appear after this. Just get all of the like really lame quests out of the way for the day. Dude, your best boy chest looks so much different from mine. What the fuck? Yeah, it does. But it is the best, the the female best boy chest. Yeah, that's in other games. And you know, it looks like it has actual exoskeleton. Yeah, that looks like the actual best boy set you see in the later games, compared to what I'm wearing, which like you don't really see this version of it anymore. Oh, hey, you Spartan in a different area. Nice. First time we've seen that so far for this game. Forgot that was going to start happening. Wow. One honey. Nice. you love to see it. Oh, not killing up enough. I didn't get my pickaxes. Fuck. I mean... What, what did you think I was doing buying before going on the hub? I guess I'm just gonna go to get eggs then. I was honestly half expecting her to just be guarding the nest. 
She's probably loitering in Area 9. That's she's bound to do. Hey, man. Can you hear that sound? Can I, can I have a single pickaxe to use for this spot? Sure. Oh, sick. Uh, I just had two break. Ooh. <laughs> there. You can have half of mine. <laughs> Might as well go to the other one. In six. No, she's over here. Oh, god damn it. Well, she'll move the moment I pick up this egg. Okay, game. Okay, game. There we go. That's it. It broke on the last one. Is she still there? I hear her here, yeah. Like I hear the wings. Oh, she aggroed on me. Hmm. I wanna go through six. Uh there are Lost right here. Oh, well, uh, that sucks. <laughs> One of them is trying to attack you. Well, sucks for him. I can't be hurt by ghosts. Oh, yeah, there she is. What, wait, what the fuck? Is that a Rathlos? Or did I just see two sets of wings? I only heard the wings. It is Rathlos, and it's just him. I couldn't see what it was. Also, I missed my uh, jump on the first landing, so I me immediately lost my egg. Nice. And I forgot to eat my steak. So I have to break my egg. Oh, he's over here. Yeah, you can get down from six with the... Uh, the fuck? Oh, Rathlos is here now in three. So you can go through six. I don't know the route, though. Oh, I can show you. I very stubbornly figured it out. Yeah, I know. You, know what? you go from the right side, right? Yeah, you have to take down the um, first like two steps on the right. And there's a lost spray down there. Yeah, but it's really quick to get out, so... The next one. That's like right down here. this, down this. Yeah, you run against the wall, just run straight off. Wrath of us, please. Don't you dare. Then you want to walk off these ones so you don't, um, do a really big jump. Please, don't do it. If I remember correctly, I think you can actually just walk off this one. Yeah, you can. Just uh, two Velocity right here, though, what the fuck? Yeah, if the Velocity... You said you could walk. I walked off it, yeah. I literally just walked off it, and I didn't drop mine. Uh, did you go against that somewhat ledge? Uh, no, I walked straight off of the, uh, wall. I didn't, like... Not off the wall. Off the, uh, ledge. Like, I didn't go against the wall or anything. I just turned to the side and walked off. If you got extra hang time because of, uh, that random bump in the wall, then I could see that dropping it. Which, very unfortunate. Uh, he's over here in three.
I actually don't think you can do this route, though, without a backpacker. I think backpacker lets you go from a slightly higher height. I should test it. in six. Of course he is. fell again, but this time maybe because I fell on the Velocipre, mm. so there was more flight time. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna kill this Velocipre. In low rank they didn't respawn, so... Yeah, so I just go over here and just drop down like this, yeah? Like, I kept my egg. Like, I'm not going against, like, the wall or anything. I just turn to the side and go down. Actually, I am curious, because I, I'm looking at the skills. And Are you fucking kidding me? What? Fucking Velocipre just hit me. Ah. Uh, what about the skills? There's the kanji for uh, MP in what's selling me mm. in my skills. So I want to make sure what sleep deprivation. Okay, so it does exist. Yeah, there's the meaning of all the statuses in this game. Dude, I can't believe Bizarros can't put us to sleep. So pissed that Velocipra hit me when I was right outside of the uh, camp. They do like doing that. That's actually the first time one of the ones in that area have hit me. Yeah, it feels like you go so much faster than I do. <laughs> I actually wonder if the female sets give a different skill. They don't. Oh, 
See, I went again right after you. Like, the, like I was following you exactly, and I dropped an egg because I was following you. Hmm. I'm trying... I'm starting to think that it does give me a different skill. And I've been doing all of these without sleep deprivation... With, uh, without a backpacker. Hmm. I mean, I can check your skills when we're done. I can literally just see what you have on you. I mean, can you check? Can't check in here now. That I... You can't see the uh, player list in here. I need to cook. I want some more stamina. Although I hear Rathalos. Just cooking next to his eggs. Yeah, no player list option in here. And I hear his wings. Hopefully he's not too close. To... Uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, but he's not aggro. Funnily enough. Just straight up just running with the, with the egg in front of him. He never knew what hit him. So I can drop from here. And up from there. A little lost right here, dead. I mean, you could get the ones in one. Very dead. Ah, nice. Unless there's more of them that I didn't see, but the ones on the actual path should be dead. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, because I checked my status, and in skills it says sleep deprivation, so... I wonder if maybe you don't have one of the correct pieces of armor on. Let me look at you real quick. Hmm. I mean, I have the, fast Wait. the two fast boys and the blue pants. Hmm. I'm really curious if maybe that chess piece just isn't the correct one. Considering how different ours look, it's like... Mm. It looks like you have the same exact gloves, but not the chest. Yeah, but they're the same name. Yeah, I'll take a peek at your yeah. skills once we're back in town. Yeah. Rango Registo and Rango Arm. Best points are Rangosta. Bunch of nutrients. I don't entirely mind getting a shit ton of nutrients because they were used for making mega potions or max potions. It gave me five potions. It gave me like six. Seventeen hundred K. That's nice. Four hundred ninety gold. Uh, gold uh, points. That's also nice. And he's muted.
Anyway. Alright, check my equipment. You have the wrong waist on. Wrong waist. It's the Velospray waist, not the leather waist. Ah. But still, why would that make me get sleep deprivation? Sleep negate is just part of what you have. Like, I have sleep negate and backpacker. Uh -huh. Well, at least uh, you did the testing for me. You can take most of that route without the skill. It's just the very end spot where you drop off that ledge um, uh, after getting the... End. Not the very end one. There was also one of the jumps mm. like going down the ravine. I see. That I couldn't take either. Like, it's the one next, like, after you're uh, at the platform of uh, the mining spot. Mm -hmm. Like, you go straight along the wall, but there's a platform in the middle that you don't take. So I, I have to take that one. I see. See. There you go. Now I should have backpacker. If you check. No, it still tells me that you have the leather stuff on. But for me, it gives me two skills. It tells me I have two skills. Maybe it's because I don't actually see you right now. That's so being dumb. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm just checking the player list. Oh, there it is. You have it now. Yeah, there you go. Like, didn't you think it was weird that I didn't have the uh, very bright blue tacit? Well, I forgot that it looks like that on the female characters. Nah. Do you have the herbivore one? The herbivore one. I don't have it. Uh, let me see. No, I do not. Well, shit. Well, guess we're doing an actual uh, mission. Damn, shame. Switching clothes. Same. Gonna be fighting a gypsyrus. Alrighty. Gypsyrus in the jungle. Oh, you can buy the 100,000 backpacker guide here, too. Yeah. I guess it's because we're in high rank. Now it's in here. Where but is it? On, like, page... It's literally just a red book. It's on page five. Ah, okay, yeah. I see it. I'm gonna buy the uh, defense charm. Right now. Fair enough. It's like, finally I have enough money that I don't feel bad <laughs> getting it.
What's up? For the god, uh, steaks. Yeah. Uh, I'd give you one, but I only brought one. I mean, I brought the spits, so I just need to find the reverse. What oh, was a shit ton of Bulfango here in 4 again? I'm not even gonna bother trying to mine here. It's not worth the time. I'm just gonna go to 9 and 10. Eel prey in 2. Yeah, going in there, if I see Bulfango, I might just ignore mining there from now on. It takes so long to clear out, and if they spawn infinitely, it's not worth the time. Uh, Gypsy is this year in three. Alright. I don't feel like carving Bulfangos for meat. I don't have paintball for Gypsers, and he's leaving. There's Apnoth here in 8. You can kill them instead. Yeah, I figured they would be there. But now I've already started attacking Bulfango, maybe? No? I guess not. I guess they don't want me attacking them. Oops. Wow, I got a Earth Crystal, and the mining spot was depleted. Nice. You'll love to see it. I got a Iron Ore, and the mining spot was depleted. You gotta love it. That's one way to put it. My gotcha. Iron. Broken pickaxe. Oh, Megalite. Wonder where Gypsus went. Not probably one or two. No, for the tour, don't do it. There's four Bullfango and three. I'm not going to bother trying to mine. Fuck it. Don't care enough. Doesn't seem like he's in two. I guess he's in one. I guess he also could have gone to six. I think he can go there. That should be where he sleeps. No, he's not in one. I guess I'll head to six. Oh, no, there he is. I couldn't see him through the trees, and he wasn't making sounds. Yeah, okay. He's going to three, I think. Well, I still need to mine four, so... I'm not bothering with that. It is not worth the time. Was it Bullfango? It's just shit tons of Bullfango again. Yeah. Hey, Gypsyrus.
I must sharpen. Sorry, my goddamn life. Come on, me, I'm just whiffing out of my mind. Pain. Dude, 20 hits of sharpness on Goblades is so miserable. Oh, I bet. It's so fucking awful. I can't wait till I have better options to make. stay over here because I feel like he's going to come back over here when he's done. Yeah, sure. I, I enjoy cardio. Mm. Yeah, he's flying again. Off he goes. you break, please. Oh, he's doing an actual time waster. Side. Unless he decides Please, to Jepsirus, what the fuck are you doing? Did he actually land? Of course, I killed a Neoprey and he. What the hell? On my screen, he landed next to me. Really? <laughs> yes. Hmm. Ow. Rick's gonna leave now that he just wasted like three minutes of our time. Amazing. Classic. Truly, actually classic 20 year old game. <laughs> well, I guess this one's 19, he... specifically this one. And now he comes to the Wolfango. Are you kidding me? I fucking stood up after being knocked down into the poison. That's annoying. I'm gonna run to the fucking camp. Got them. Bouncing off his legs. Yeah, it sucks. Good thing he's tall enough that his tail swipe doesn't hit. Yeah. Oh, you you went back to base. Yeah, it was poisoned. I basically had to. Ah, okay. Like I got fucking tripped, and then when I was getting up, there was a poison cloud on me, so I just got instantly poisoned with nothing I could do about it. As well. All right, well, better go back to camp. No, I brought antidotes. Ah. Uh, I don't typically bring him for him because he doesn't, like, ever really poison me. 
I just got really fucking unlucky. Yes, same. Like, yesterday I didn't bring either. But, I don't know. For some reason, I felt like it, it was gonna happen. It is a high rank. Gypsurus. Oh, well, so far I haven't seen him do any new moves. Uh, he just he seems to be doing this more. Yeah, he also feels a little bit faster, I don't know. Could be. Looks like it. I went to one. Might as well mine here. Oh, there's nothing left. Thick. Nice. You'll love to see it. Also pray. At least these die in one hit. Well, he's also not really doing his flashbang. He did it like twice. Yeah, but typically he likes spamming the shit out of it. Uh, he knows we're uh, high rank hunters now. And that we don't fall for it. At least it seems like we've got a sharpen. That's another thing you gotta remember to start. Dude, he is stepping on me so much, and I'm just losing all of my health from it. Holy crap. I'm not appreciating getting CC'd a ton. Leave me the fuck alone! Holy shit, dude. Yeah, I also constantly bring whetstones because my weapons, you know, go through them like they're candy. So I don't really need yeah. to remember to bring some personally, but for you, it's a bit different. Yeah, for me, really, really you gotta. What just happened to me? I think a Vest or a Velocipray hit me. Uh, it's possible there is one right over There's like four of them on top of me. I was just confused because I got sent flying, seemingly from nothing. Yeah. Congratulations, you did it. Ah, uh, okay. Time to pretend. Well, missed. Amazing. Right on the edge. 
Because I was afraid of his uh, wake up. Yeah. He's leaving. Oh, of course the paintball wore off. Maybe he's not leaving? Yeah. It sounds like he's on the floor attacking. Sure that's not the lost prey? No, I just saw him fly up off the ground again. Yeah, he's still yeah. here. Yeah, I saw him as well. Landing. Now maybe he's leaving. Yeah, he's running. Yeah, but that's the animation he does when he's leaving or doing a time waster, so it's hard to say. Uh, I, I didn't see his animation. I just heard him whack, 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 whack. Yeah. He's doing his, like, chicken run. But not the one where he spews poison. I think it's because on my screen you like made contact with him. Oh really? Yeah. Not a mine. Okay, well he should be dying considering he's doing this more often. Yeah, you did the thing where you like zipped into him and then you like teleported away. Oh, yeah, didn't touch him. Yeah, at that time it was just like he got up. Wow. Yeah. That's some damage from him stomping around. Holy fuck. And, and he's pretending again. Yeah, I see that. You, you died and he started pretending. That damage this is time, insane. This time I got him. And he's pretending again. But I gotta sharpen. Oh, even when he's pretending, the paintball goes gray as though he's dead. There goes his uh, flash. I'm upset I got hit by that, but you didn't. Got hit by the tail swipe. No, don't do it. Okay, see. He's doing this. A lot. 
I made oh. contact with his wing. Oops. Wow. And again. Okay. Got him. Finally. Dude was like, I think I'm just gonna have like all of the health and be annoying as possible. I say this one in area two, we didn't really get to fight him because he wouldn't stop moving. So you know that wasn't a great start to the hunt. I mean that's just gypsurus. Yeah. When he once he started dying. Like, it was great for the great sword. Yeah, because you get the like, wake up hits constantly if you're quick yeah. enough. Actually, I don't think they count as wake up hits because he's not actually asleep. Most but it is, a, it is a free hit. hit. Yeah, it's a free hit it's on his head. Hit on the head. So. Oh man. Hmm. One rubbery hide. Let's oh. Go. Three hundred and ninety. Yeah, it wasn't a great one. So I'll check. Brew. Uh, no egg for me. Same. I got a vest point fifty. Gotta capture the fish. And Let's, do the Let's do the fifty vest void. Let's do the fifty vest void. I don't want to do another gypsyrus. <laughs> if we're going to get the lame ones out of the way quickly, then, you know, the best boy's a good one to take out. Yeah, I guess. Where's the uh, best boy one take place? I didn't see. It is in the jungle. All right. So bring a hot drink. Yep. Although, considering it's been a couple hours, uh, we had talked about this probably being a shorter one, so what are you planning on doing? I can do another hour, because I wasn't expecting you to start so early. Alright. Um, I'm going to step away really quickly, because i got to use the bathroom, and I'll be good to go. Alright. So I'll be right back. Cause it's uh, 80 Fahrenheit over here. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of fucking cold where I am still. Let me see. It's 53-ish Fahrenheit here, or 12C. Ah. Oh, it's so getting warmer. Yeah, it's about freezing now. That's nice. I 
And apparently with 82% humidity, so that's fun. Yeah. It's not too bad when it's high humidity, when it's relatively low temp, because you can only get so much water into the air. But when yeah. it's like hot as fucking high humid, it's like, okay, kill me, please. Oh, I know. <laughs> few summers ago we had a uh, like what 35 celsius and like 90 humidity that's awful i'd rather not have that thanks keep that over there and you know these houses have actual insulation mm -hmm. unlike mine Or at least unlike this room, at the very least. So yeah, like, very nice in the winter, but... Yeah, in the summer, with those temperatures... And I live on the top floor of a building. Mm. So it gets even warmer. Damn. I'm gonna be trying to poison these. A. Gotta get those high rank curves, you know? I am. I just cooked the steak. Oh. Are they actually gonna let me? Hell yeah. There's nothing here. Free honey. Nice. Well, there are best points. Yay. One honey and nothing else. Mm. Classic. I love Monster Hunter. I'd say same, dude, but you know, at times, I really question it. <laughs> oh, there's another. God damn it. Classic. Yeah. Mining don't come. Or the door, no, not you. I think I've killed all the best boy in one. At least on my end. Hey, got a Dragonite. Nice. Sucks. Where are the Vespoids spawning from here? If 
felt like from uh, the exit tonight. Mm. I'm not seeing any now. I've only yeah, killed like two of them. Any new ones? Yeah. I hear bugs, but they it's the Hornator. Yeah. I'm gonna move up to nine, I guess. All right. I'll do six and four. Oh, there's a plesia sloth here. I'm good, I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, I only see Hornetors here anyway. Well, there's definitely tons of Espoid in here. I, I expected as much. So. Yeah. Damn, there's two for the price here. of one. As well. Hey, I got a blade fin. Best boy to wing. Uh, exchange the stone. I'm not getting as many poison procs suddenly. Oh, actually, one of them actually stays. Like the body. I just picked up a frog instead of carving. Nice, you love to see it. Oh, second one that I can carve. Stop picking up frogs. Oh, only Hornetors here. Interesting. Guess I'll mine. I was about to say prime mining time. Only Hornetor here and nine as well. Just strength the wrong potion. Amazing. Onto our head. I haven't had one of these yet. Turn this map. Matchlight. Um. Dude, these horns are starting to really hurt. Get rid of the iron. Nothing else here. Three spots. Uh, there's Vespoid here in 10. That should be the last ones. Yeah, I'll kill him after I'm done mining this spot. Okay, I guess I'll oh. go over there to mine. I'm now done mining that spot. I got, like, a match light out of it, I think. Fish is out of the out of the water. Fuck him. And back into the water he goes. This hornetor has been poisoned for like an hour and hasn't died yet. What the hell? What is this bullshit?
Yes, Armitors. Come on. You're so well behaved in every other area. The ones in Area 9 are, uh, you know, they're the rough crowd. It's like the Hornet's Whore from the ghetto. You came to the wrong neighborhood. Finally. So there might be a dead horn on the ground for you because it just died to poison, like straight up. Nah. Ah, uh, rip. Elsewhere, maybe. Uh, they come from like way back here. Yeah, but like with the vast points as well, they would just like evaporate. Yeah, but those were ones dying to the same hit that it procs poison. These were just dying to actual poison. Because these have like I didn't see four that. more times I the didn't HP. See a one. Hey, Kello. Up, Kello. How's it going, man? Apparently, he's drinking. It's not drinking, he's splashing orange juice on his neck. It's different. Wow, 210 points. Yeah, it's not a great one. And you say that, but the name of the emote is Sip. He must have a mouth in his uh, shoulder. I can't believe Mr. Peverson is not going to be streaming Undertale today. I can't believe. Uh, who could have guessed? How could this happen? Steve Peverson? Had to come here because Scam Scammerson flushed again. Yeah. That's a shame because I was expecting... Well, I can't say I was expecting. I was going to just stream until he swapped Undertale, and I was going to go watch that, because I wanted to watch uh, the entire chat burn. But I, I guess that plan is cancelled. Obviously, I need to stream until tomorrow when he totally streams Undertale. Oh, I was going to watch that, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure quite a few people were looking forward to watching chat have a meltdown. Shame. Uh, let's see, I got Ian Cuckoo. Capture Ian Cuckoo. I think this is Cephadrome. Apparently his throat's messed up, Malastrum. And fish. At least that's what it says in Discord. Let me see what I got. Hmm. No egg quest. Capture fish. Kill Cephadrome. Capture Cutcube. Slay Rathian. Slay Rathian. Oh no, that's the one we already did. And another Gypsurus. He ain't the throat goat. Mm. I guess he ain't that guy. I guess we can go do Cephadrome. Or, yeah. Um, I want brains frying cool drinks. <laughs> yeah, Kella, we'll see if that actually ends up happening. Oh, okay, well, I'll put mine down then. The fish are ones I have to kill more for the training quest, so... What's with people playing Undertale now? Oh. I know someone else that started Undertale recently. 
Oh, well, he's literally just doing because it was a subathon goal that he thought nobody would reach. Nah, the classic. Yeah. I don't rank that guy is. Rank 30. Okay. And he's Japanese. He's got a bunch of Japanese in his name. In his uh, bio and shit. Nah. Oh, he's got sharpness and divine protection. Interesting. I'm curious to see what this guy's about to do. What else did he have? What was that weapon? Black Runer Lance, the Fadeless Lance yet again. Next stream's all Undertale, for sure. Guaranteed. Yeah, dude, totally. Yeah, but not before he gets the seven hours of Eldering <laughs> War weapon first. Yeah. Well, I don't think this guy's coming to the hub, so... Sounds like Peeperson, all right? It's fucking insane to me that he can just play that one game, like, non-stop for years. Like, I've never had a game, period, where I could just do that. You know what's really funny? Noble tried telling me that I'm just like him because I play, uh, like, a shit ton of Monster Hunter. Oh, I thought we spawned in the mining area. We didn't. Yeah, I thought so as well. I immediately went to... <laughs> To the spot next to the entrance. Yeah, I started spinning my camera around immediately looking. Oh, hey, look at this asshole. Well, I can at least mark him. Well, I gotta cook first. Stop moving! Nope. It'll cook faster in this area. <laughs> yeah. The ambient heat from the world. Whatever. I don't care. It's not like he goes to many areas. But yeah, you don't play only Monster Hunter. Yeah, I don't play only Monster Hunter. And each of the Monster Hunter games tends to be pretty fucking different. Unlike him, who's played Elden Ring almost exclusively for two years now. Which is just DS3 with the Yeah, which I was about to say, which is literally just Dark Souls 3, but slightly tweaked. Like, I can't make an argument like, oh, well, he's been playing the same game since Demon Souls, because Demon Souls was just Dark Souls 1, and then Dark Souls 1 is just Dark Souls 2, but it, it's it, not. Yeah, because those, yeah, those are significantly different. And 2 to 3, I would even be willing to say, like, 1 and 3 are different enough. Elden Ring is literally, like, almost identical yeah. to uh, Dark Souls 3. Which is part of why it amazes me that he can play it so much, because he stopped playing Dark Souls 3 because he was sick of it. But I think that had a lot to do with, um... Like, the fact that you always had, like, six phantoms in every world, and it kind of made the PvP experience significantly worse for invasions. So I think that's why he actually stopped playing that game. If I had to guess. Personally, I can't even tell why people like the PvP in those games, but... They can be fun, be. but... Like, because I've played a lot of those games PvP, and it can be fun. The thing is, Dark Souls 3 PvP was, like, alright at best, and then it's just significantly worse in Elden Ring. Because of how bloated the damage is from everything. And then unlike Dark Souls 3, where I at least like some of the PvE, I don't like any of the PvE for Elden Ring. Like, the only fight that particularly stood out to me was like, yeah, I kind of like this fight, was uh, Radagon. 
But it's like, I'm fighting Radagon, and you... It's like, okay, well, I beat Radagon, now it's the Elden Beast, and because it's attached to him as a literal phase 2 and not a separate boss, it ruins it for me. Radagon's kind of fun, Elden Beast kind of isn't. That's the general consensus. I thought that hit me even though I dived. My controller like freaked out. 4v2 was fun guys, honest, yeah, let me tell ya. I actually enjoyed the PvP in Dark Souls 2 for some reason. I really actually like the PvP in Dark Souls 2. I had a shit ton of fun with that. Same with Dark Souls 1. After those two games, though, it fell off a cliff for me. So what you're saying is that Miyazaki's a hack. No, because Dark Souls 1 was one that he made, and I enjoyed Dark Souls 1's PvP too. Okay. That looked so fucking weird. I hit him as he tried to go on the ground, and it, like, launched him way over here. Yep, yeah, for me, I hit him right as he was trying to go back down. Yeah, it looked like you hit him, like, when he flew over here. That and stopped him from going down again. I have four more of these. And, of course, I got... I got a... Missed inputs. Yeah, I love it. Ow. He hurts. Yeah, fish always hurt. Oh, he fucking stepped on me like twice. Alright, we need to get the free potions because we spawned in Area 8. Had the most fun with PvP in 2? Yeah, Maelstrom, same. That could, there is a chance that that could be because I was in Dark Souls 2 from, like, the launch of it. So I got to experience, like, all of it and wasn't playing Scholar. <laughs> the Scholars is a pretty worse game, in my opinion. Not necessarily for the PvP aspect, because they ruined that with, uh, a lot of the patches they did. Like, Dark Souls 2, a lot of their balance was based off of people, like, complaining on Reddit, I swear to God. So a lot of shit got way over-nerfed when it really didn't need to be. Which, because that game didn't have a separation between PvE and PvP, uh, it ruined both aspects. So that was great. And it's so nice when you actually have screamers. That was quick. I actually enjoyed PvP and Dark Souls 2 for some reason, probably because the dragon duels were very specific. I spent quite a bit of time as a dragon as well on that game. Like, I participated in a lot of the PvP options for that game. The only thing I didn't do was the Rat Covenant. The Rat Covenant was just kind of boring to me. I spent a shit ton of time with Clang Bangers. I did shit tons of blue invasions. I... On the very occasional miracle would get summoned as a blue. That was fun. Uh, I did lots of red invasions. Did shit tons of dragons. I did fight clubs. I did red signs. I did the uh, duels in the arena for blues and reds. My favorite part of Dark Souls 2 was denying spell spammers with the shield infusions. Seeing someone's nuke spell do barely 5% of my HP was cathartic. Well, Kello, my favorite build from Dark Souls 2 was me just basically being immune to spells. <laughs> I had a anti-mage build.
where basically no matter what magic you used, I would just run straight through it and fucking kill you. <laughs> it's like, oh, Crystal Soul Spear, me sprinting straight through with a fucking greatsword and crushing their skull. It's like, yep. Because crazy enough, they can't dodge while they're casting spells. It was great every time. Oh, Sunlight Spear and crush that guy too. Forbidden Fun and crush that guy too. The looks on people's faces when they start chugging, I help myself to a drink too. Uh, my favorite was when you slap a spell away with the Cursed Bone Shield or any other spell parry. And they kind of just stand there like, uh... <laughs> I got the Herbivore Eggs. Oh, God damn it. I don't have it. Okay, let's go change clothing. Make sure you put the correct stuff on this time. <laughs> yeah. I actually got messages from people because I used the spell parry stuff. Apparently a ton of people didn't know that, that existed. So I would get messages from people like, you fucking cheater! What's wrong with you? And it's like, it's this item, it does this, and they're like... Oh. Who the fuck uses this, you asshole? It goes from you cheater to, why would you use this? It's cheap and cheating, and basically, like, you suck. I got so much hate mail in Dark Souls 2. It was great. Loved every second of that. Of course they didn't know it existed, they only used meta garbage. Yeah, they were all, uh, Havel clowns. Havelins, that's what they were fucking called. Yeah, I got some hate mail too for shield infusions. Ugh. Like, yeah, nice self-report on basically not knowing what the fuck you're doing with the game. Ah, uh, dude, speaking of spell infusions, though, I have a fun moment with that one. I invaded a guy in the catacombs, or the crypt, whatever the fuck it was called. And he was a mage with homing soul mass and a shield. And I was a hexer, because I was playing my mage build. I call it a hexer, I had all the spells. And I had a uh, affinity over my head, and I saw he had a shield that wouldn't block dark, and my shield wouldn't really block um like magic. So I just infused my shield with magic seal shield, and we both ran up to each other with our shields up, and he got hit by mine, and he just fucking died. <laughs> well, I took no damage because of the uh, magic shield. It was great. I didn't get a message after that one, surprisingly. This is in the desert, right? Yeah. Man, I kind of missed Dark Souls 2's heyday. It was fun. I'm surprised they actually gave us potions or uh, cool drinks, rather. Yeah, same. I brought two, and I was like, oh. Same. It was the one shield that made a bell sound when struck and fused with lightning. It was almost impenetrable. It had a lot of people uh, that use sunlight blade spells buff. Yeah. The um, Watcher's shield, right? From the uh, Throne Watcher. At the very end of the game. That was a cool shield. Yeah, 
Yeah, a lot of people are super reliant on, like, lightning in that game. It's the only damage type that didn't get completely fucking neutered. For some reason. Like, a lot of the lightning spells were nerfed early on. Then later on, they were just kind of left alone while every other magic type got completely dumpstered. It's like, yeah, just use lightning, I guess. Like, faith all the way. And, like, then every single build that you saw going forward was just a faith build. It sucked. Thing was that, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's the only one in the game that did that. The Throne Watcher and the Throne Defender, and the Throne Defender had the uh, full shield, not the small shield, and didn't make a bell chiming sound. My favorite shield from the game was still the Cursed Bone Shield, though. That shield looks so damn good. And they've never had another shield look half as good since. There's already a 9 for the herbivore eggs, right? 8. Oh. Alright then. I don't even remember what is a 9. There's a Diablos here. Nice. I'm not about to fight a high rank Diablos. Not with his current setup, at least. I don't remember what the best magic infusion shield was. Other than, like, Havel's, but Havel's, like, not a normal shield. Havel's, like, you could infuse it with almost anything, it would be immune to it. My friend actually ran around with, like, four great shields in that game. Like, that was his build. He used the great shields as weapons, and he would, uh... <laughs> like, if he saw a player using a type of element, he would just swap to that shield being, uh, the main one. Yeah. I'm expecting it. Fuck off, gun prey. Death hello, don't you dare. Okay, I've made the area two. Um yeah, I'm trying to go the same way. I think going yeah. like straight. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, it looks like this would be the best way. The only issue might be the uh, Cephalos crossing our path. Yeah, that gun probably knows nothing. 
He doesn't have a clue. He's clueless. Uh, one of them knows. I don't know me. Yeah, I got two of them chasing me. Well, that's Cephalos almost hit me. Oh, and not <laughs> Cephalos almost hit me. Hey, so. You just got hit on my end. I heard it. Then why am I still holding the egg? Because I heard on my end. Ghosts can't hurt you, man. So hopefully this is the last delivery quest. I mean, I haven't seen any others. I'm honestly tempted to do the Sitstone one, or not Sitstone, that was a uh, Crystal, the Quartz, just for Dragonite. That's probably the best way to farm Dragonite at the moment. I love how sketchy the uh, the tracking for other players is in this game. It's great just watching you zoom around. I just think there are only two of them. Fuck off. Can I pass through the uh, the gantry or not? Oh, oh, sick! He's chasing you on my end. Nice. On my end, he chased you. <laughs> Amazing! Oh, he turned around. He's after me now. Maybe. Yeah, I, I got one after me. Ah! Oh, that sucks. Unlucky. Fucking Cephalos. Unlucky. Like, I was afraid of the one in front aggroing and immediately jumping onto me. So mm -hmm. I moved the camera to him and, yeah, got hit by the one behind me. Yeah, you dropped yours as well. Yeah, I had a Cephalos run into me. Yeah. Just turned off my space heater if anybody's wondering what the fuck that beep was. Nope. Oof. Almost almost got hit by the cephalo. Dude, these fucking cephalos. I see, I see the I see the status effects. Yeah, I got tripped by the cephalos and immediately paralyzed. I come over here and just try and kill the gun prey. Oh, cool, cool drink wore off.
Don't, don't do it. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Oh, he killed it. Nice. No, I only gotta watch out for the Cephalos. There. Both the Genprey that might have been on you are dead. Yeah, I have no Genprey on me. Alright, I'm out. Thank God, fuck this quest. Transgressor's leather shield got 100 dark resistance. Yep. I think there was at least one shield, if not two, for every element in the game that could get 100%. The issue was that the 100% cost uh, came at the cost of um, obviously lowering res resistances for everything else. So you take more physical damage, you take more lightning, whatever, like all that. <laughs> nice. It's a shame you won't get to finish it. Oh, uh, hey, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Last second. Wonder if I actually have it in my inventory. Oh, 500 points. That's quite a bit. Okay, no, it did. It also didn't take one of the raw meats. Uh, that's a shame. No, I said didn't. Yeah, it's, it's a shame that you didn't get to keep it. I'm saying. Well, yeah, but at least I didn't lose the raw meat. Yeah, I guess. Probably should check what quests are up before going here. I got Ian Kuku. The capture one or just another Kaku? Another Kaku. Hmm. Uh, Rathian. Rathian. And uh, Gypsorus. Yeah, I have Rathian, Rathian, and capture Kaku. Let's do a Rathian, I guess. Actually no, let's let's do cut kill. Let's get him out of the way. Is yours capture? Yeah, I'll put up the capture one. Okay. I think Kaku is relatively weak to dragon, so I don't have to go swap. Question mark. Surely the bird will be weak to a dragon. I know he's weak to water. I think he's decent to dragon though. Oh. He's not that great to dragon. Well, shit. Like, he's not, like, resistant to it. But it's... Oh, actually, no. He is pretty resistant. Holy crap. Dragon is actually the only thing where he has a zero weakness to it. Nice. Then he has a he has a 20 hit zone on his neck. And that is it. Everything else is zero. I'm going to go change my water dual blades. Fuck this. Amazing. I would have literally been sitting there doing zero damage. <laughs> Oh, good thing I checked that. Alright, 30 hits of green. Let's go. I get to do my flurry three times. Want anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, that could have been bad. The next 40 minutes could have been here just... Basically, you exclusively doing damage to him. I 
I think we would go fine. It's just Cuckoo. I mean, yeah, but we still would have been sitting here for a long ass time. This is Forced in Hills, right? Yeah. yeah. It's good, good. So, it's either that or Swamp. Or Jungle. Or jungle I guess. Yeah, and if it was Jungle, you would never go into the caves. Mm hmm. Wow, they gave us a full loadout on this one. What the hell? I guess it's because of the capture quest. It's like, all right, well, we'll just copy and paste. You think it might just be the uh, standard for captures? Yeah. Like, they were too lazy to make a special uh, box out, uh, outload, or loadout, whatever, yeah, brains uh, frying. Yeah, for outload. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you spawned a nine. Yeah, I'm going for honey. I'm just gonna run at him. And then I'll mine when he's going to die. Yep, oh, there he is. Gotta love it. What? Uh, bug. Oh, yeah. Thing. You got a nice insect husk and nothing else. Yeah. You picked up nothing. 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 Insect husk. There's nothing else here. Leave. No, no, that, that's in this area. That's an area line. Oh, honey. Already worth it. Okay. Two bits of honey. And empty. Maybe you got two honey from that one? Maybe I should go check it. Yeah, I fucking hate this camera angle. Ow, the steps. I think the worst part is they keep this camera angle for this at least until Gen 3. I don't know if they fix it in Gen um, 3 or not. I don't know why I just ate that. I remember Gen 2 having the same problem. Dying. Yep. Right, I'm gonna go to area eleven. Oh, you didn't paintball him. He's just gonna go sleep in five. We went over this last time. We did cut to uh, cut to as well. So. Nah, 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 nah. 
I don't remember anything mm. about that. Never happened. Unfortunate. One hit and done. The true classic. Meanwhile, I'm getting plenty of hit Okay, it's done now. I got plenty of hits, but I'm pretty sure the only thing I got was iron. Sadly. Rip. I didn't really expect anything else. I was just hoping for like maybe more Earth Crystals. Yeah, it only gave me iron ore and stone. I got one earth crystal. Yeah, let's wake him up and make sure he's still dying. He is not. Recovered a lot more HP than I thought he would. Apparently hit. Time for what? Oh, or the uh, my thought you were going there. No. <laughs> no, I got time. No, I was saying no, as uh, in I wasn't going there. I'm maxed out. Was able to get the one Mechalites? Yeah, I got like three Earth Crystals or something. They're not bad. Flame Sack, that's nice. Only 390 points for a capture quest. That's like the same the three star Gypsurus would have given us. What the fuck? <clears throat> Well, in 3 star. I don't know if he would still give us the same amount. He'll give us less now, but it's only like 10 points less or some shit. But that's the base amount oh. that the 3 star Gypsurus capture gave us.
Dude, we got a triple Gendrum quest. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. Guess we'll get that out of our way. Capture fish, Rathian, and Yinkuku. I'm just assuming this is going to be in the desert. Same, and I'm also going to assume they'll give us cool drinks. Oh, uh, it's in the swamp. No. Then. Go away. And they spawn in Area 8, so... Yeah, no hot drinks. Good thing I brought two. And also, you know, just eat steaks through it. Yeah. You could. Yeah. I'd rather not. That was too quick. Why would you rather not? I'd rather keep the stakes for actual missions that I expect to take longer. They're like free. They're way easier to get than uh, and cheaper than the cool drinks. And hot drinks. Oh, I got a wall down. Oops. I'll eat that, I guess. Yeah, that's what I did as well. <clears throat> right. Mining trip time. Gotta get that Union R and Draco light while we can. I unfortunately can't mine this stuff off stream in the village, which sucks. There's actually, speaking of that, I do know that there's actually codes available that would let you play the uh, online hunts in the village. That's apparently what people used to do before the private servers got made, so you could actually access the quests. Uh -huh. I have no idea how that works. Like, I don't know if it gives you, like... It gave me a single Dracula and then told me to fuck myself. I have no idea how exactly it works. Like, I don't know if it's, like, you can get... HR offline doing that, or if it's just like, yeah, the quests just become available, I... I might actually look at that. I'm kind of curious. Although, I can't really use them unless I put my save on the emulator. Which I did fuck around with it on there a bit, just to see how it feels. 
just in case anything happens with the PS2's hard drive or anything. Or my controller or whatever. Like, how would this be? And I'll tell you right now, I did not enjoy playing as much with the PS4 controller. It also looks so fucking different. That it does. Gave me a single match light, told me to go fuck myself. Hey, I, I bet there are, like, adapters for, uh... PS2. There are. But I was checking it out in case something actually happened to my controllers, like they stopped working or malfunctioned and whatever. Like, I was like, oh, like, what if kind of deal. Also, I got two hits in and told me to fuck off. Rip. Oh, no, actually, I got four. Wow, That's lying to me. That I was focused on your story. <clears throat> yeah, like, I like the PS4 controller. I just like the typical normal buttons for L2 and R2 so much more. Well, careful with your phrasing there. For some people, the normal is the other one. Well, they're fucking Xbox players, and they can go blow their brains out in COD. In Minecraft. No, I'm telling them to go play Call of Duty and, like, fucking nuke themselves. Yeah, they... We all know that they're There's... Xbox players if they're thinking triggers are the default. Yeah, there are better things to wish them, like, to tell them to go play Halo Infinite. <laughs> yeah, dude, true. True. God, the fucking poor COD, or not COD fans, uh, Halo fans, they have to deal with that shit. You know what, better them than me. Instead, we have to deal with Rise. Can they even play Helldivers? No. They have to play on PC yeah. if they want to play Helldivers. Or on PlayStation, but they could never do that. They would never be willing to stoop so low. I don't know where the fuck this Gendrum went. Yeah, Helldivers is only on PC and PlayStation. And now a shit ton of countries are also locked out of it, because Sony hasn't undone yeah, that yet. They went back on forcing you to account link, but uh, it seems like they're going to make sure that the people who can't access PSN still can't play the game. Even though they said they were going to walk that stuff back. Or, they didn't expressly say they are going to walk that back, but people expected it considering, uh, you know, no longer require PSN to play. I feel like that was always kind of their goal. Oh yeah, it definitely was. Which is fucking crazy, because it's like, why lock these people out of these games when you could make more sales? Yeah. Like, it's strange. I just got a message from Bob saying he was right. <laughs> God damn it. About? He not streaming Elden Ring. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah. uh, not Elden Ring. The, uh, other game. Undertale. Yeah, yeah the Sam's Undertale. Yeah, yeah. But, like, you know that stream would just end up being like his Fire Emblem stream, right? He's doing it without the chat on. Ah. That's why I want to be there to watch that, because I, like, I doubt the mods are really going to do anything about people trying to backseat or, like, freaking out and shit. I wanted to see that. It was going to be so good. Somebody doing a blind Undertale playthrough in 2024 with, like, okay. no chat and, like, just letting it rip. Like, oh man. Okay, that would be funny. Like, I've never been in an Undertale stream or anything. Or seen the chats, but I've heard that they are awful. And they boy, are. I want to fucking see it.
Man, I can't even kill a Gendron before needing to sharpen. Feels bad. Oh, now we go wait in area eight. Also, what is here? Oh, it's a Rathian. It's a Rathian. You didn't see her? I heard her earlier, but I didn't see, um... I didn't actually see it. I just heard, like, wings like, flapping for landing. Like, when you were chasing her in this area, Chasing the Gendron, I mean. Uh, she was just standing there. Right next really to nice. I had no yeah. idea. Blind spot, easy. Yeah, they spawn out of Kizu's hole back here. Although, speaking of Fire Emblem, boy, am I glad I'm not a big streamer when I'm going to be playing those fucking games, because holy shit, Peeves chat was a fucking mess. I'm also not going to be playing the waifu sim Fire Emblem games, so I'm just going to be playing the old ones. Yeah, they would have a meltdown anyway. <laughs> oh, he spawned really quickly. I was going to try and reply to Bop while waiting for him to spawn. I didn't think he'd come back that quick. Unless you're in demon mode, it's kind of... <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. I expected it. There we go. But hey, at least I have an option for the weapons that I like. For small monsters where I won't be, like, shit on by being near you. Not to say I don't like the greatsword as well, but I do tend to prefer these smaller weapons. At least nowadays. I mean, I like weapons where I can feel... Impactful. Like, uh, impactful, yeah. The, the weight's really nice. I... That might be why I like these, like, animations so much more than, the, like, the newer ones. They feel more fluid. They feel like they actually have weight to them. Unlike in the newer games where you just look like you're flailing around doing literally nothing. Yeah. Like, regardless of your attack. Like, even these are, like, proper, like, not indistinguishable flailing. Well, I'm pretty sure that animation is really close to the modern-day version of it. Yeah, any day now. You can, you can reply to Bob. Yeah, I'm typing right now. <laughs> Kilos meme on uh, morals. Oh. I'll look at that after we kill this. <laughs> like, <laughs> holy shit.
He actually got an attack through. Ow. Don't appreciate that. It's gonna stun lock you, don't worry about it. Nah, he's leaving. I'm like out of stamina because I refuse to use my other hot drink. Yeah, I'm out of stamina because I didn't drink. Alright, now that I'm outside, I'll eat. Even though I didn't really need to. by his own brother. Get out of the my god. Oh nice. There we go. I hit him in the air. Nice. Good thing you can't cut them in half. I mean, does it matter? Yes. I want the carves. I did get... Oh, I guess this might be a paralysis sec. Stun sec, yeah. Second, second one? Yeah. Very nice. Well, if you got a paralysis stack, then nice, good for you. I only got a stun sec. Yep. They're probably stun sacks. I mean, they both exist. Yeah, but I can't really tell. Because I don't recognize the kanji. Right. Yeah, see, if I use the translate, it's numb bag. <laughs> Instead of sack, it's yeah. say bag. But if I actually look at the kanji, it says bag, sack, pouch, skin of an orange. Skin of an ends. orange. And other like fruits. Uh, it's also used for dead ends. And plot of land surrounded by water. Crazy. Uh, but for the numb one, it means also paralysis, palsy, numbness, and stupor. Hmm. So it might be a paralysis sec. I don't know, it depends on how they localize it. I mean, there's stun and paralysis sex. We're in high rank now, so you might have gotten a paralysis one. I got a stun yeah. sec. That's because you can still get low rank stuff here. I know how I. You can put it in your box and sure. look at them. <laughs> that would imply I hadn't. I still have my sunsex if I ever got one. Mm -hmm. Even though I can go to the wiki and check. Oh, it's this sec. It's here. Next streamer and poison. And then switch the language and go to the exact same area. Yeah, no, it's paralysis sec. Ah, lucky.
There's another slay in cut. Oh wait, no, we didn't do that one yet. Yeah, we haven't. Yeah, we did the capture. I thought there was just a third slay. It's like holy crap. All right, last one. Sounds good. We'll go and finish it off with another Kutku. We'll keep the oh, fish right. and the Rathian and all them for next time. Sounds good to me. Are you... Rank 15 yet? <laughs> um... No. I'm 1,300 and, uh... 73 away. Oh, I'm 14 already. Nice. I am 5,400 away from uh, level 15. Mm. Uh, we're, so 16 is when we'll get the urgent. Then we have to get to 17. So there's definitely not enough missions here to no. get to the next one. Question is, how bad is it going to be farming to get to the next one? I mean, we can farm Rathian. Yeah, Rathian and Rathalos. And make their uh, their sets. I might decide to be a psychopath and try to make all of both their sets. <laughs> yeah, you might. I might. I already have both yeah. of their low rank sets, and I'm gonna do the village stuff to get the low rank variants or subspecies. Yeah, no so you know, I, I might just make both of all their things. You know, who knows? I never would have expected you to do that. Yeah, crazy. To be fair, I typically don't make every single armor set for both of them. And they spawn me in area 4. And they spawn me in area 7. Of all places. Yeah, I'm just in a cold cave. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Grind by Vespoid. There's no Volthango here. I, mean, I guess I'll... Since I'm already in 7, I'll check the other caves. Getting lots of Drake and Idar here. Nice. There are like 20 Vespoid here though, and they want my ass. Uh, there's like 3 Vespoid here. 4 maybe. Yeah, after this, I there's a good chance I'm going to go to the village and work through those quests that I haven't done yet. Like, I feel like I could still stream for a few more hours, so. This no over here. Just trying to remember where the third mining spot was. Oh, Union Ore. Oh, there's nothing here. There you do all three of them. Let me get this one. Find out. Also, Union Ore. Lucky fuck. How dare you? <clears throat> Union Yore is rare. I would like to have some of that myself. <clears throat> or I could also play Dragon's Dogma too. If I'm not feeling like continuing this after you're gone. Hmm. They did say you only played Monster Hunter. <laughs> Only Noble said that, and he, like, said it full well knowing that he's just fucking wrong. I 
I mean, yeah, we all know you're a Sonic streamer. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get to 06 eventually. That's going to be suffering incarnate, I'm sure. I at least hear that Unleash isn't too bad. Uh... The not PS2 one. Like, the PS3 one apparently is fine. But not the Wii one, because the Wii one has, you know, Wii controls. Uh... But obviously, there's a good chance that people are just fucking lying to me. Set your expectations accordingly. Right? Yeah, I don't expect them to be great. Like, I know the opening for Unleashed looks amazing, and that's like it. Oh, my pickaxe is broke. Oh well. Yeah, I think it's 06, then Unleashed. I don't remember if Zero Gravity's before or after Secret Rings, but I'm at least looking forward to Zero Gravity. Looking forward to playing that again. Nice. Ran out of pickaxes on the last hit. Nice. I'm not sure if there is more for me to use or not, but... I'm also not willing to find out. What I'm not gonna go and look for a bone in area, nest, whatever that one was, what is it, six? Time to cook in the cave. Dude, don't you know that's bad for your health? Like, CO2 and stuff can build up in there and you can suffocate and die? You can't be doing that? No. no. That's like the bullshit I heard recently that I saw a bunch of people, like, sharing. Yeah, what was it? That... Yeah. Uh, that you shouldn't uh, mix alcohol and caffeine. That it kills you. I mean, you shouldn't mix them, but it's not going to strip kill I... you typically. I mean, you shouldn't drink large amounts of either on their own, either. Like they're not, they're not exactly healthy. Well, you shouldn't drink either alcohol. Way. Period. Caffeine is tech. Coffee. Coffee's technically fine for you in small amounts. Like it's technically healthy for you in smaller amounts. Yeah. It... In small amounts, in small amounts, alcohol is good for you as well. Mm. And by alcohol, I mean like wine, not. Yeah, that's different. Uh, that's not literally alcohol. That that's not like, that's the stuff that in there with the alcohol. Caffeine itself is technically good for you, in small doses. Yeah, Although it's alcohol as well. Alcohol, alcohol is good for you because it causes a. Um... It raises your blood flow. Yeah, but caffeine does that as well. Caffeine yes. does that for you without being straight poison. But it is poison. They're both poison. What I'm saying is that wine, for example, means you're getting nutrients from the grapes as well. Where the fuck? Oh, he, he's probably in his nest. I went by there earlier. I didn't see him. Yeah, but it's not like he couldn't have moved there. I mean, true. No. Check one again. He's not in seven. Might as well grab the map. And a couple potions. He's not here. So weird. There are a ton of lost right here, though. Check three. Also, oh, welcome back, Bob. The 
forever streams ago. I uh, uh. super lame that he ended, but you know, if he wasn't feeling well, that's fine. Totally, he's totally gonna do the stream next stream. It's totally gonna happen. He can only push it off for so long, right? Uh, but yes, so as I was saying, so there's that thing about the alcohol and caffeine, right? Sure. Like, apparently, I assume it's US-based, but like, US has a bunch of, uh, like, CDC stuff that's not really, like, actually real. Right. Uh, and apparently there's, like, from a ministry of whatever that says not to mix the two because it can kill you or whatever. Yeah, so it's everyone's ninety so percent of the time it's not going to do anything to you unless you uh mix like extreme amounts of both and or you have pre existing conditions. Yes. But but if you head to that point then even water can kill you. Yep. Uh, but so, people are sharing that because, of course, it was a bunch of children sharing it's that. Fucking Taku, man. Causing, causing kind of mass hysteria or whatever, and actually taking that at face value. Meanwhile, I'm I'm seeing some of them like propagating that. Uh, I just end up telling them, but, like, you guys know that the most common thing for uh, university students and people like like teens of a uh, drinking age do is mix like vodka and uh, Red Bull we're talking about the stuff recently about not um, mixing caffeine and alcohol which you shouldn't but it's not gonna like straight up kill you I, I mean they're they're as bad as having them separately well, that's not exactly true, because you're mixing downers and uppers at that point, which, you know, has other like effects. See, like, see, that's the idea behind that. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm here telling you that it doesn't matter. Like, yes, you mi you're mixing the two, but they don't really... Like, you're, you're gonna mix them, like, outside or inside your stomach. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're mixing them or not. Well, yeah, the point is, don't, don't mix these things, is don't drink them together. Like, don't drink them one after the other or anything like that. Not literally, don't put them in a fucking bottle and shake it. Oh, what if I told you that in my country, the most common thing ever is to drink wine at the meal, and at the end of the meal have coffee? Well, then I'd say you sound like you're French. But then you didn't have a cigarette in there, so... I mean, there are people that smoke as well. That's after the coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's the French be uh, breakfast. A coffee and a cigarette. Oh, we're gathering shrooms. Yeah, I figured that out. Yeah, exactly. They also have caffeinated alcohol drinks in cans. Mm hmm So it's like... What are you on about? Be because people treating it as if it was almost illegal. <laughs> like, like it was a big, big thing for someone to be doing that. Yeah, no, typically you're fully allowed to do things that could kill you. Like, typically, yeah. nobody cares. L like, drink water. And and uh, drive a car. Fly in a Boeing airplane. Exactly. 
Although flying in the Boeing airplane is probably the most likely one to get you killed out of the list. I mean, I think one even like it would be a Tesla. I'm driving a Tesla. <laughs> Or being on the same road as a Tesla. Ah, uh, now you're cooking. Now I'm cooking. Only 3.30 for that. In yeah, inside you might actually be safe, but if you're anywhere near it, that is an inside its confines. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I wonder what else there is just to be done in here. Yeah. The Rathian and a Gypsurus on my end. Uh, Rathian, Gypsurus, and that's it as well. Those are probably the last two quests then. Actually, no, there's to no, capture Plesiosloth too. Yes. And there might be another Rathian as well. Can't remember for sure. If it's making us kill her in all of the locations, then yeah, there would be three of them. We did the one in the desert already, so there could be the one in the forest and hills and the swamp. Where's yours yeah. currently? Union, Union or... Yeah, so I have the Rathian for forest and hills. If yours in the swamp, then yeah, it's three quests or four quests still. Uh, 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 Fars and Hills. Huh. Maybe we only have to kill her in two locations at the moment. They're saving the swamp for uh, the next rank. So you're done for the day, correct? Indeed. We can start with Rathia next time. Sounds good to me. Uh... Alright man, I'll see you around next time.